Yes, a very good morning to all of you. How are all of you? All good? Aise CA foundation ho gaya, ab CA inter to aise CA wali feel aari hai. Like you know, all ready for article ship and all. Okay, right. So how many of you have crossed a road with traffic? Right? Rasta kisne cross kiya hai? Kali kiya, roj kiya, acha. तो कैसे मतलब ऐसे रोड क्रॉस करना होता है ऐसे माइंड में रहता है कि अभी ये गाड़ियां आ रही है रोड क्रॉस करना है फोन पे तो एवरीबडी इज ऑन द फोन देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट ओके सो यू जस्ट लाइक यू वांट टू क्रॉस द रोड एंड यू जस्ट स्टार्ट वॉकिंग और डू यू डू समथिंग वॉट डू यू डू वॉट डू यू डू You want to cross the road, so there are vehicles coming, and I want to go from this side to the other side. So I just start walking, or do I do something? हाथ से गाड़ी रोकते हैं, okay? Then ऐसे बोलते हैं रुको, 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 अच्छा? और we take a judgment that okay, the car is coming from that side, and I have to go from here to here. So by the time the car reaches, whether I will be able to go or whether I should allow the car to go, and then I should go. So actually, even while crossing a road, we are doing an audit. Right? We are doing an audit over there. We don't just blindly, you know, just like okay, I am walking, so everybody has to stop. No, frauds will come, errors will come. you understand and we have to check that you know we have to be vigilant we have to be careful over here uh, any time have you helped your mother bringing tomatoes sabzi lane gaye ho tomato lane gaye ho acha so when you go to buy the tomatoes you go to the fellow tell him to give you 1 kg tomato you would allow him to pick up whatever he gives and then at home you are going to get a ke kya leke aaye ho <laughs> So you check them. Are they round? Are they red in color? Are they not extra squeezed? Are they not green? They are proper. And then after that, you select. So everywhere we do checking, we do verification, we do examination. It's just that technically, when a chartered accountant does it, it is called as audit. You understand? So that is where at the inter level we have a new subject introduced for us. That is the auditing and ethics. In the old syllabus, this particular uh, subject was called as auditing and assurance. But now the subject has been renamed to be called as auditing and ethics. Okay, right? Hundred marks and double inverted comma theory subject. Right? Double inverted comma, double underline, bold italics, font size fifty. theory subject right because it's a different game when you have to study for a practical subject like costing dt like taxes direct and indirect taxes accountancy you know the formats you know the formulas over a period of time you solve 20 30 40 50 70 100 questions also and over a period of time you become an ai hai na artificial intelligence jab koi nayi adjustment aati hai to fir faculty ke liye rukte ho तब तक तो मतलब यू आर एबल टू डू इट ऑन योर ओन बट अगेन जैसे स्टडिंग अ थियोरी सब्जेक्ट इज अ डिफरेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड आई सी ए आई चेकिंग फॉर अ थियोरी सब्जेक्ट इज ऑल्सो समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट राइट हैव यू हर्ड किसी का एक्सपीरियंस सुना है ऑडिट के बारे में किसी ने कभी गलती से अच्छा बोला है राइट इट्स लाइक द विलन नो है ना ऐसे विलन जैसा उसको बताते हैं ओके बट विलन के बिना मूवी में मजा नहीं है you understand no only if there is a hero in the movie then it's not going to be the students say ki main mujhe na practical subject bahut acha lagta hai mujhe na practical tum kitna bhi karne bol do ab tumhe kisi ne poocha hai kya who on earth has asked you aisa koi option hai kya ki accountancy mujhe 400 mark ka de do aur audit 10 mark ke liye pooch lo nahi आगे चल के वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट यू डिसाइड ऑन योर ओन बट राइट नाउ हंड्रेड मार्क्स एटलीस्ट यू हैव अ वेरी बिग कम्फर्ट ओवर दैट दट थर्टी मार्क्स ऑफ दी एम सी क्यू इज देर बट एम सी क्यू फाउंडेशन में है अभी भी एम सी क्यू है ना तो ए बी सी डी कैसे मन उछलता है 
है ना एवरी टाइम वेन यू सिलेक्ट ए तो फिर मन करता है अरे बी ने क्या पाप किया है सो यू अंडरस्टैंड नो देन यू थिंक ऑफ बी फिर एक सीक्वेंस फॉर्म करने की कोशिश करते हैं कि ए बी सी तो शायद अभी फोर का आंसर डी होना चाहिए फिर अभी ए ए बी बी सी सी तो अब शायद डी डी होना चाहिए ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है है ना दिस नथिंग लाइक दैट इज जस्ट लाइक द क्वेश्चन एंड देन बहुत होता है कि लाइक यू नो तुम्हें पक्का होता है कि ए और डी तो आंसर है ही नहीं इट हैज टू बी समथिंग बिटवीन बी एंड सी एंड देन यू फाइटिंग बिटवीन बी एंड सी एन बी एन सी पता चला एक्चुअल आंसर ए और डी में और यू आर फाइटिंग बिटवीन बी एंड सी ओवर देर राइट सो या अगेन एम सी क्यू इट्स अ नैक जैसे हम लोग गाड़ी चलाना सीखते हैं साइकिल चलाना सीखते हैं बैलेंसिंग जितना अपना उसका आर्ट गेट्स बेटर लाइक दैट इट इज सॉल्विंग ऑफ द एम सी क्यू राइट सो ऑडिट एज अ सब्जेक्ट रिक्वायर्स यू टू डेवलप सम टेक्निकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट लाइक वुड यू रिमेंबर दट फर्स्ट टाइम वेन यू वॉच क्रिकेट इन योर लाइफ फर्स्ट टाइम हाउ ओल्ड वर यू दैट टाइम Seven years, seven months. Okay, seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so seven years when you watch cricket for the first time in your life. I'm not asking now when you watch the entire IPL or T20 series. I'm saying for the first time, for the first time in your life when you would have heard somebody saying over cricket ke context mein. No, normally over kya hota hai? Khatam, मतलब it's like over, like you know, food is over or the program is over or something is over. But cricket का over क्या होता है? It is the six balls which is into you know one over over there. Or they say golden duck. Or they say LBW. I think you know better terms like third square. Uh, you know, third is empire, and then after that, after that, some power play and something hat trick. So you know the terms related to that game. You know what is a run out? वो तो मुझे पता भी नहीं ऑफ साइड का बॉल है ऑन साइड का है यहाँ से समथिंग यू नो वेर गावस्कर विल बी गिविंग दी कमेंट्री रिगार्डिंग हाउ द क्रिकेट इज हैपनिंग जस्ट इमेजिन हैड यू नॉट नोन दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू क्रिकेट वुड वॉचिंग द गेम मेक एनी सेंस टू यू कि समबड़ी वुड एफ्ट बाउंड्री बाउंड्री अब बाउंड्री बोले तो इंडिया पाकिस्तान बाउंड्री Like what do you know? You know, okay. What is four runs and what is six runs or something over there? Okay. Oh, you know, when the ball there is a rope which is put on the stadium and then when it crosses that, it's a four. How then you start doing the mathematics and everything. So see, say example like this. Everybody generally knows the uh, what do you say the terms related to cricket. But अगर तुम्हें football या squash या कोई और game के you don't know the rules. Will you like watching that particular game? If you don't know the rules, will you feel like out of place over there? You'll say, "Yeah, what you're saying. Let let's change. Let's see something else." It's so similar something. It is for audit that we have to work on the terminology of audit. And the biggest rumor about audit, in case if you've heard, the biggest rumor I'm saying that you can write in your own language. If you write in own language, you get your own marks. You won't get the ICI marks. Right? So very important. We have to stick. to the icai terminology and my purpose of the class like my uh, your purpose of attending the class that i keep on using the terminology of icai again and again now see i'm talk going to introduce the subject the first time to you so every time a new word comes immediately we'll pick up that word and discuss in detail though later on wo chapter mein it might come somewhere later but anyways when first time we come across a term immediately we are going to pick up that term and discuss that particular term in detail okay right so yes i will be speaking in english majority of the time in the class to aisa to bilkul nahi hai ki mujhe hindi nahi aati hai aur yaan bhi nahi hai ki maine marwadi nahi aave hai na so <laughs> yes but because we have to write our exams in english it is preferred that you know if you listen to the subject in english that is the way it retains in your mind and then that is how you are able to write in the paper kya hota hai hindi mein padhane mein mujhe koi dikkat nahi hai but hindi mein sunoge to hindi mein yaad rahega fir exam hall mein hindi mein yaad aayega fir live translation wo bechare examiner ki halat kharab you understand no tumhara live translation from hindi into english reading over there no so anyways i tell students they say acha ma'am aap english mein padhaoge are i am telling you my english is not a shakespeare english and neither it is a shashi tharoor english you don't understand what that fellow says 
you understand no so it is normal you know english which grammatically also it will help you so normal english but yeah any time you don't get anything you want me to explain it again we can certainly do that okay right when it comes to the class i do a lot of running notes in the class that i keep on writing i don't give any ready made charts or anything so you have to catch up or match up with my speed of what i am writing over here and what you have to take down in the notes not that everything that i write over here has to be in your notes not like that but not that nothing is in your books that she is writing and i'm just listening not that way don't be an extremist be in between like you know if she is writing something over here making some chart over there i have to write it simultaneously i also expect because it's a theory subject we have to bring our book to life so i want you to bring some stationery along with you like stationery in the context of some red blue green yellow pink orange whichever color pens you can get and one or two markers you know but ek bar bacche agar marking karna shuru karte na unko bahut maza aata hai wo itna marking karte itna marking karte to aisa lagta hai ki jo mark kiya hai wo padhna hi hai jo nahi mark kiya wo padhna hai so be moderate okay be little like okay i only have to read what has been marked so be careful when it comes to marking but yes you have to do multitasking you have to do the marking in the textbook you have to be writing in the notebook you have to be listening to me all at the same time it's not not going to happen one after the other okay right now we are listening to her then we are marking in the book then we are writing the notes no एक दो दिन थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा अंदाजा लग के थोड़ा आगे पीछे गाड़ी हिल सकती है बट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू प्रिपेयर योर माइंड अकॉर्डिंगली दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डू ऑल द थ्री टास्क साइमल्टेनियसली व्हाट आर द थ्री टास्क listening to me me which is the most important task for which you've come in the class right second marking the notes and third after that also whatever notes i am writing over there writing down little bit out of that okay right then apart from that you already have the theory some mcqs also we'll provide to you later on and so okay right and now i will first discuss with you what are the chapters which we have in our syllabus also the pattern of our paper and then after that we begin with the chapter number 1 yes so all good everyone yes all good okay right so let's begin with our discussion regarding the chapters in the syllabus that we have okay right so we talk about our subject for the ca inter which is auditing and ethics right auditing and the ethics right in which the first chapter that we have over there is regarding the nature objective and the scope of audit right so like it's like a chapter on the introduction of auditing the nature objective and scope of audit okay what is an audit what are the advantages what is the importance of audit what are the limitations of audit what is included in the scope of audit what is not included in the scope of audit audit kahan se aaya what is the origin of auditing right so all that is discussed in the first chapter over there which is regarding the nature the objective and the scope of the audit okay right then after that the chapter number 2 that we have is regarding the audit strategy right so obviously to do an audit first you have to lay down a strategy to do the audit based on the strategy you prepare your audit plan right so next in that chapter you have the discussion regarding the audit planning and then based on the plan you also prepare your audit program right so three audits over there audit strategy audit planning audit program right so that is chapter number 2 audit strategy audit प्लानिंग के ऑडिट करना है तो प्लान करना पड़ेगा ऑडिट करने का प्रोग्राम प्रिपेयर करना होगा राइट सो दिस इज जस्ट द टाइटल ऑफ द चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी चैप्टर इन डिटेल राइट सो ऑडिट स्ट्रेटजी ऑडिट प्लानिंग ऑडिट प्रोग्राम दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर टू राइट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री विच इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म्स और कंसेप्ट इन ऑडिट विच इज रिगार्डिंग द रिस्क असेसमेंट एंड द इंटरनल कंट्रोल राइट सो रिस्क assessment and the internal control right so what is risk assessment what is internal control we'll come to that but that is chapter number 3 risk assessment and internal control right then chapter number 4 which is audit evidence right chapter number 4 which is audit evidence which i can say is the heartbeat of your syllabus right chapter number 4 very important chapter over there audit evidence 
Okay, right. Then after chapter number four, chapter number five, which is regarding the audit of the items of the financial statements, right? One of the biggest chapter in the syllabus, audit of the items of the financial statements. Do you understand financial statements? What does it mean? Statement of profit and loss, balance sheet. Cash flow statement, SOCE statement of changes in equity, notes, notes which is technically called as summary of significant accounting policies and the other explanatory information. What is there in the balance sheet? Financial position, state of affairs. What is there in the state of affairs? Capital liabilities and the assets. What is there in the assets? Non-current assets and the current assets. Non-current assets you have the? Property, plant, equipment, intangible asset, then you have the yes, non-current investments, then after that current you come to debtors, bills receivable, cash and bank, inventory, all of that. So all this, ye ek -ek, ek -ek item of financial statement, uska audit kaise karna hai, that is discussed in chapter number 5. Okay, how to do the audit of property plant equipment, how to do the audit of intangible asset, how to do the audit of the debtor, how to do the audit of the creditor. So that is why the name of the chapter audit of the items of the financial statement or dekho na, agar aise ek 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 item ka audit karna hai, so this is going to be the biggest chapter. You understand now, audit of sales, audit of purchases, audit of other income, audit of other expenses, audit of depreciation, audit of pay employee benefit expenses. So each and every item of the financial statement or property plant equipment ka disclosure ka koi requirement hai? PPE, property plant equipment, do you have any disclosure requirement where they are given? Notes to account, notes to account, but which is the law, which talks how the disclosure, schedule 3. Hello, the schedule 3, it gives the format for the preparation of financial statements and also the IND AS 16 and the AS 10. Hello, the IND AS 16 and the AS 10. So, disclosure bhi check karna hai. Jab hum audit karte hai, to disclosure bhi check karna hai. Whether disclosure is given as per the requirements of schedule 3 to the Companies Act. Right? So, each and every disclosure, each and every audit, that is chapter number 5, audit of the items of the financial statement right so each and every item of the financial statement okay right ek to hame audit soch ke karna hota hai hai na ki kaise audit kare kya check kare kuch gadbad hai kya aise soch soch ke karna hota hai which is called as a thinking audit and second you know in audit they say that work not documented is work not done तुम बोलते हो रे आज तो मैंने बहुत ऑडिट किया ओ टुडे आई डिड अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क बट इफ यू डोंट प्रिपेयर अ फाइल if you don't have the documentation of what work you have done, it will be considered as if no work has been done by you today. Right? It will be considered as if no work is done by you today. So that is why they say you have to do a thinking audit and you have to do an inking audit. Right? That is you have to keep on writing whatever you have checked. So for that we have the chapter number 6 which is regarding the audit documentation. Right, the audit documentation. Okay. Right, then chapter number seven, which come towards the end of the audit, which is regarding the completion and review. Right, completion and review. Right. Next one, chapter number eight, which is one of the most important chapter again, which is regarding your audit report. Because final deliverable, kya hota hai? The auditor, when the audit is finished, at the end of the audit, what does the auditor issue? Karte hai? Audit report. So, what is the format of the audit report? Kya hai? Kis type ke audit report hote hai? Which all types of paragraph can come in your audit report? All that is discussed in the chapter number 8, which is the audit report. Okay. Generally, when we are going to talk about an audit, generally when we are going to talk about an audit, we are going to talk about an audit of a company. Company, it could be private company, public company, public, it could be listed, it could be unlisted company, it could be a profit making organization, non profit making company. But generally, we talk company baat karenge. We don't talk about the type of business they are, they are into. But as a whole, that when I am doing the audit of a company, that company or that particular, what you say, trust or that LLP, it is running a hotel. 
and or it is running a hospital or it is a charitable institution or it is a non governmental organization or it could be a leasing finance company or a higher purchase finance company so that is where we have the chapter number 9 which is regarding the special features right special features of the audit of the different types of entities right special features of the audit of the different types of entities right so kya bataya maine aapko which all could be the different types of entities over there it could be a hotel it could be a hospital it could be a club it could be a cinema hall it could be an educational institution like a school college university right it could be a ngo charitable institution trust society sole trader llp to yahan pe bhi duniya bhar ki variety hai because you know it's different 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 types of entities over there right which we talk about the audit okay right fir ek inter ke syllabus mein inhone chapter dala hai which is regarding the audit of the banks right bank audit kyunki generally during articleship if you are generally doing your articleship in a small or a mid size firm generally you get to do a lot of bank audits over there pehle aisa hota tha ki bank audits chapter used to be there only in ca final but now bank audit chapter is there in ca inter also and it is there in ca final also right so how do you do the audit of the loans given by the bank that is advances income of the bank expense of the bank so a pura dedicated chapter you know for the bank audit right so you have a dedicated chapter for the bank audit and what is the name of our subject if you remember auditing and ethics so abhi tak ethics ki to baat hi nahi hui hai Hey no, so that is why we have the chapter number eleven, which is regarding the ethics and the terms of audit engagement, right? Ethics and the terms of the engagement or the terms of the audit engagement. Okay, right? So these are the eleven chapters in the syllabus. Right? These are the eleven chapters in the syllabus, same as per the study material of the ICAI. क्या होता है जनरली अगर हम लोग इंस्टीट्यूट के स्टडी मटेरियल से सीक्वेंस चेंज कर देते हैं सो देन स्टूडेंट्स दे लुक एट द स्टडी मटेरियल एंड देन दे कंपेयर इट विद द नोट्स एंड देन देर इज लाइक ओ माय गॉड इट्स डिफरेंट इट इज नॉट द सेम सो दैट इज व्हाई थॉट लेट मी कीप इट सेम you understand no so the same sequence that is there in the study material of icai same sequence you see it in our books also that the same chapters have been given but obviously we are not going to study in the sequence right obviously we are not going to study in the sequence so like you know we'll be first doing the chapter number 1 nature objective scope of audit then coming to chapter number 11 and you know, ethics and terms of audit engagement then after ethics and terms of audit engagement we come to audit report right so 1 fir 11 fir 8 don't worry i'll take you through main saath mein hu and as we take go to chapter 1 then chapter 11 then chapter 8 and then after that chapter 3 4 and the others okay kyunki concept build karna hai so over there is a logic you know ki why we study it in this particular sequence okay right so is there quite a lot of stuff to be studied over here right auditing and ethics right so some chapters audit documentation chapter dekh ke lagta hai ma'am sare chapters aise kyun nahi hai itne chote chote you understand like it's one of the smallest chapter but then items of financial statement you say ma'am ye to khatam hi nahi ho raha hai you know it just goes on and on and on so don't worry we mix and match it and we cover the entire chapter also right so all good everyone for the chapters which we have nature objective so you know a sign of a good student is a student who at least knows the chapters in the syllabus hai na some students are there do teen attempt ho gaye unko bolte tumne wo chapter kiya acha hai kya wo aise like you know they are under some different world over there right so nature objective scope of audit then audit strategy audit planning audit program then risk assessment and internal control then you have the audit evidence then the audit of the items of the financial statement then the audit documentation then the completion and review then the audit report special features of the audit of the different types of the entities audit of the banks and the ethics and the terms of the audit engagement okay because what happens you know in the exam you see a question question number 4a and you read the question does it not have to come to your mind ke from which chapter is this particular question because the questions in the exams are going to be random right so that's the first thought which has to come okay right so this is one regarding your syllabus now second talking about the paper pattern right so let's look into the 
paper pattern right so paper pattern 100 marks question is question that you have to write and out of that 30 marks is the mcq right so 30 marks mcq and 70 marks we have for the theory right so this is the mcq and 70 marks is for the theory right in the mcq each mcq which we have seen lately 15 questions of two marks each right 15 questions in these 15 questions they give few case studies and also like say there is case study uh, case study 1 then case study 2 case study 3 and then there are some general mcqs and you know, some general mcqs right so on an average around 12 mean, like, a case study 1 uske niche 3 4 question case study 2 3 4 questions case study 3 3 4 questions and then general mcq 3 4 questions but total will come to 15 questions 2 marks each and total so case study one they will give you a case scenario uske niche three four five questions any number it can be random right then after that case study two case study three and then some general mcqs okay right so that's part one of the paper then part two of the paper is where you have the theory in the theory we have question number one which is compulsory right in the theory we have the question number one which is compulsory in one we have question number one a one b one c five marks five marks and four marks right so this is five mark five mark and four marker question which is compulsory right so five plus five ten and ten plus four fourteen so fourteen marks compulsory question right 14 marks compulsory question then after that it says answer any four out of the remaining five questions answer any four out of the remaining five questions so you have question number two a b c question number three again a b c question number four a b c question number five a b c and generally in question number six they give an internal option over here okay c ka ek internal option hota hai. and four or four any one of the two and obviously this is again five marks five marks and four marks Right? So, any 4 out of the 5. So, either you select 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 5, 6, any. And so, out of the 5 questions, you have to write entirely any 4 questions out of that. Right? So, that is again how many questions over there? 4 questions. Right? So, that is 14 marks into the 4 questions. Right? So, 14 marks into the 4 questions. So, that is coming to 50. 6 marks, right? So, a compulsory question, how many marks have been? 14 marks. Then, this is 56. So, this is 70. And then, here, MCQ is 30. Clear? Have you followed what I said? Right? In the 100 marks of the paper, 100 marks of the paper, you have the 30 marks for the MCQ, right? And then, 70 marks for the theory. In the 70, 14 marks is compulsory right 14 marks is compulsory and 56 marks is what answer any four out of the remaining five questions answer any four out of the remaining five questions and right? that is the pattern of the paper as a copy dekha hai just if you look at the may 24 question paper you know it says question number two a b c d and they've given four four three three Right, or 4, 4, you know, 4 and 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, yes, 4, 4, 3, 3. So, 4 questions diye hai. But if MTP September 24, they have 3 questions diye hai, 5, 5, 4. Right, so, anyways, 1 question, how many marks will be? 14 marks. Ka. One question, how many marks ka it will be? It will be for 14 marks. But it could be like it is A, B, C, D, which is 4, 4. 3 3 or it could be a b c which is 5 5 4 okay right so because may 24 ka question paper dekho to it is 4 4 3 3 september 24 ka agar mtp 1 and 2 dekho to then it is a b c right so it doesn't matter whatever number they ask but that is sure okay they are asking for 14 marks right? they are asking for 14 marks that is what is seen is ke pehle old syllabus mein there used to be something called as correct and correct Right, wherein they used to ask the seven questions of two two marks each, so that used to be fourteen marks over there. Up new syllabus mein that correct and correct is not been seen in your paper. Because then what happened? Thirty marks MCQ, then fourteen marks ka correct and correct. So theory was becoming very less. So that is why now correct and correct is not there. 
right? So in case if you go through any old content, it is good for conceptual understanding कि आप वो सारे correct and correct देख लो. But ऐसा देखा तो नहीं गया है. तुम बोलो कि मैम आपने तो बोला था नहीं आता है भाई वो institute है. है ना तो अगर कभी आ जाए तो पता नहीं. But at least based on the latest MTP RTP suggested of ICAI, it is seen that there is no correct and correct question being asked over there. They are asking the Theory questions that two 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 marks, है ना? MCQ. They are asking the MCQ is also for two two marks, and then you have the theory part of the paper. Is that clear to everyone? Right. So have you followed these two things which I told you? One, I told you the syllabus, the eleven chapters that we have to study, and second, I told you regarding the paper pattern. के thirty marks of the MCQ and seventy marks of the theory in the paper. तो total कितना questions लिखना है अपने को exam में? टोटल हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन पंद्रह क्वेश्चन एमसीक्यू के सॉल्व करना है फिर ये वन टू थ्री है ना वन टू थ्री देन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन है ना तो फिफ्टीन ओ वी और थियोरी क्वेश्चन एंड फिफ्टीन एमसीक्यू तो पूरा तीस क्वेश्चन आने वाले हैं है ना टोटल हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू कम इन दी एग्जाम थर्टी क्वेश्चन आर यू गेटिंग वॉट यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू कम थर्टी क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन इन दी MCQ, A, B, C, D, upper curve, है ना? Out of that, which is your favorite option in MCQ? Otta, all of the above. है ना? वाला किसी का दिल क्यों दुखाए? Otta, all of the above. You are not ta, none of the above. Okay, either everything or nothing, like that. Okay, right, so that's the MCQ part of the paper, and then you have the theory part, wherein you have to write down these fifteen theory questions in your paper. Okay, right. Now let us come to some further discussion over there regarding what you already told me regarding something called as the financial statements. And the financial statements. What do you mean by FS? Financial statements. What is included in the financial statements of a company or any organization? Balance sheet, right? Then after that, the statement of profit and loss, P&L, है ना? Statement of profit and loss. वो P&L इतना बोलते हैं उसको original नाम भूल ही जाते हैं. And a PNL, PNL. They never call it as profit and loss account. Okay. Then after that, you have the cash flow statement, right? The cash flow statement. Then the SOCE. What is that? Statement of changes in equity. Statement of changes in equity. And then you have the notes to account. Notes to account का पूरा नाम क्या है? Summary of significant. Accounting policies, summary of significant accounting policies, and the other explanatory information. Are you all with me? Have you started writing with me, everyone? Yes, all of you. Okay, right. So, what are we talking about over here? Financial statements. What do you mean by financial statements? Balance sheet. Statement of profit and loss, cash flow statement, statement of changes in equity, and the summary of the significant accounting policies and the other explanatory information, very popularly known as notes to account. Very popularly known as books of account, and then you have the notes to account. And the notes to account. Okay, balance sheet. What do you understand by looking at the balance sheet of the company? Kya hal hai? What is the state of affairs of the company as at balance sheet? कैसे होती है? As at thirty first March two thousand thirty. Example. It is as odd. Can I prepare a balance sheet every day? Every day I can prepare. Today is what is the position as at? Then, but profit and loss account is. For the period ended, okay. What is the revenue of the company from first April two thousand twenty nine to thirty first March two thousand thirty? So it is for three months, six months, nine months, full year. And so statement of profit and losses for the year ended. So that tells you about the results of the entity, the profit or the loss of the entity for a particular period. Cash flow statement it tells you the cash flows of the entity. Right? Then the statement of changes in equity. What are the changes in the equity of the company? Right, changes in the equity of the company, and then summary of significant accounting policies. That is the notes to account. Right, that is the 
notes to account the summary of the significant accounting policies and the other explanatory information right so financial statements do you understand financial statements balance sheet statement of profit and loss cash flow statement soce statement of changes in equity and the summary of the significant accounting policies and the other explanatory information so now whatever figures are coming in the financial statements from where are they coming jo bhi balance sheet mein step what you say property plant equipment debtor creditor it has been seen it is coming from the schedules hai na which is there which is there in the notes to account right now these schedules where are the figures coming from trial balance in the trial balance where are they coming from ledger in the ledger where are they coming from journal entry which i can also call it as the books of the prime entry right the books of the prime entry and in the books of the prime entry it is coming from the it is coming from the transaction it is coming from the voucher the supporting documents on the basis of which the transaction has been recorded in the books of account it is coming ke agar koi rent expense record kiya hai to uska koi rent agreement hoga na agar koi rent expense record kiya hai to aise you cannot record some bogus rent transaction in the books of account na uska koi supporting hona chahiye there has to be some supporting to validate the transaction to validate the balance there has to be some supporting right some evidence and that is where we talk about the term evidence like evidence ka ek preliminary understanding kya hai ki proof ki proof hona chahiye but evidence does not mean proof we'll come to that but type of abhi ke understanding ke liye ki uska koi supporting hona chahiye you understand to so, aisa hai kya ke agar jo company ke to ye sare jo voucher trial balance ledger books of prime entry hai all this what i can do i can call it as the books of account you know all these are what nothing but the books of account of the company right generally ek company ke books of account hote hai not books of accounts right so you have the books of account of a company okay right to aisa hona chahiye kya ke ye company ke financial statements hai aur ye company ke books of account hai aur ye dono ek dusre se match hone chahiye what do you think ki ye company ke financial statements prepare kiye hai aur ye company ke sare books of account hai do you think that these two should match that they should be the same है ना मेनी चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स वो बोलते हैं अच्छा फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स प्रिपेयर करना है अच्छा तो हम लोग बोलते हैं ठीक है हम अपना बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट देते हैं बोलते हैं बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट वगैरह कुछ नहीं चाहिए आप सिर्फ हमें इतना बता दो कि आपको प्रॉफिट कितना दिखाना है आपको टैक्स कितना पे करना है कल लेके जाना है ना हाउ मच प्रॉफिट यू वॉन्ट टू शो वॉट टैक्स यू वॉन्ट टू पे दैट मच यू टेल मी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एंड ऑल यू कीप एट योर ऑफिस पेट्रोल बिल रेंट एवरी आई विल एडजस्ट how much depreciation how much cash to show how much secured unsecured loan to show they say it will show or we you know adjust all of that no but will such financial statements be the correct ones no they will not be considered to be the correct ones so one of the important role of the ca of the chartered accountant is to check that whether the balance sheet and the profit and loss account obviously the cash flow soc and others but mainly whether the balance sheet and profit and loss account are they in agreement with the books of account what is boa books of account whether the balance sheet and profit and loss account are they in agreement with the बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट के शुड नॉट हपन के बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट में तो कुछ और ही है जो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट प्रिपेयर किया दैट इज समथिंग एल्स ओनली दैट शुड नॉट बी द सिचुएशन इट शुड बी दैट बैलेंस शीट एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट शुड बी इन अग्रीमेंट विद दी बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट ये कंपनी जाके एक रिपोर्टिंग रिक्वायरमेंट भी है विल कम टू दैट लेटर and with the balance sheet and profit and loss account are they in agreement with the books of account so anyways right now we've just had a preliminary understanding about the term financial statements as i mean bola na cricket ka terminology abhi audit to we talk about audit of financial statements that is why we understood the first term over there fs right financial statements right balance sheet statement of profit and loss cash flow statement statement of changes in equity and the summary of the significant accounting policies and the other explanatory information okay right so let us see reliance industries financial statements any guess what is their revenue huh 
hundred billion dollar. Okay, right? How much is their revenue? Right. So let us look into. So this is the subject which I have come to teach you over here, wherein I am going to teach you regarding the independent auditors' report. ये अपना bread and butter है. and issuing the independent auditors report that is going to be our chapter number 8 audit report and after the audit report what we have over here is the देखो ये पूरा ऑडिट रिपोर्ट हो गया द एडिशनल रिपोर्टिंग बीइंग डन बाय द ऑडिटर एंड देन यू हैव द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट स्टार्टिंग विद द बैलेंस शीट एज अ 31 मार्च 2024 एसेट्स राइट दे हैव रुपीस इन करोड़ है ना यू सी इट ओवर देयर इट्स रुपीस इन Crore. How they would be doing the rounding off? You know, because it's two fifty eight nine one one. But there would be seven numbers in front of that, and they would have done the rounding off. Abhi apna idhar paper jab problem solve karte usme do zero extra aage to baad mein ke zero chote chote karne padte hain. Okay, right. So anyways, right. So you have the property, plant, equipment two lakh fifty eight thousand nine hundred and eleven crore. Abhi uska depreciation. Calculation. Oh my God! Intangible assets of forty thousand seven hundred and nineteen crore. Right? These items of financial statement are chapter number five. How to do the audit? You remember, no audit of the items of the financial statement. Right? Current assets, inventory, investments of sixty eight thousand crore. Right? Then the cash and cash equivalents of sixty nine thousand crore. And where you have to check the bank accounts over there, right? And then the loans of balance sheet total, and nine lakh fifty nine thousand six hundred and forty three crore. Okay. Then equity and liability. How much is the equity share capital? Six seven six six crore, right? Then the other equity that is your reserves and surplus five lakh eight thousand crore. So now you know Anand Tamani wedding. Right, okay. Right, five lakh eight thousand three hundred and thirty crore. Right, then the borrowings. Okay, lease liabilities, deferred tax. Right, then the current liabilities, provisions, nine seventy two crore. Right, and then you see their auditors over there. Right, for Deloitte, Haskins and Sells LLP, and for Chaturvedi and Shah LLP. That means they have the joint auditors. They don't have. If one single CA firm is doing the audit, then that is sole auditor. But if more than one firm is doing the audit, just the State Bank of India, they have twelve joint auditors. I'll show you their report also when we come to bank audit chapter or joint audit. Okay, right, so here they have two CA firms, and the Deloitte and Chaturvedi and Shah, right? Chartered Accountants Registration Number, Abhijit Damle and Sande, uh, is Sandesh uh, Ladha, and then after that you have the membership number given over there, right? The registration number and so, right? So that is the signature, right? That is first the balance sheet. After the balance sheet, you have the statement of the profit and loss. You have the income five lakh thirty three thousand five hundred and sixty six. crore right then the revenue from operation right then expenses cost of material purchases change in inventory excise employee benefit depreciation amortization depletion have you heard these terms depreciation for tangible amortization for intangible depletion for mines yes for the wasting assets right so depletion right other expenses then you have the pbt profit for yes before tax 55000 crore and then the profit for the year 42000 crore right profit for the year 42000 crore right so that is first they have their statement of profit and loss then after that you see the statement of the changes in the equity so equity share capital and then the other equity which is nothing but your Reserves and surplus, right? So reserves and surplus balance in the beginning of the year, add less, and then balance at the end of the year, right? Balance at the end of the year. So that is reserves and surplus. That is statement of the changes in equity. Then you see the statement of the cash flow. Cash flow from the operating activities. Cash flow from the investing activities. Cash flow from the financial is financing activities, right? So that is the cash flow statement. And then after that you have the Notes to account, right? Notes to the standalone financial statements, right? So they've given their material accounting policy. क्या लिखा था हमने? Summary of significant accounting policies and the other explanatory information. तो जो जो उन्होंने accounting policy follow किया है, in the preparation of financial statements, each of that accounting policy has been given over here. के property, plant and equipment, how they have done the accounting? What accounting? 
policy they have followed has been given in the notes to account intangible assets provision contingent liability so all the accounting policies have been given and after the accounting policies they give all the other explanatory information so then after that you see what over there all the other explanatory information look at their related parties have you heard the term related party subsidiary associate joint venture aisa kuch suna hai kya hai na 51% of the paid up share capital and so right so name of subsidiary company you now look at them look at them कैसे अभी कॉलम बोली नॉर्थ फर्स्ट कॉलम बोली नॉर्थ इंफ्रा नॉर्थ सेकंड नॉर्थ थर्ड साउथ फर्स्ट साउथ इंफ्रा उनको ऐसे सोचना पड़ता होगा कि क्या नाम दिया और क्या बाकी है and i'm like what name is given and what is yet remaining right and then after that you see this um, as total number of the related parties they have the 360 related parties right urban ladder and oh my god right you see the entire abhi energy ka dekho reliance new energy battery new energy carbon new energy hydrogen electrolysis new energy hydrogen fuel new energy power electronic electric energy storage it reliance 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 lens petro marketing petro material you know so that is where all this is given in the notes to account auditor when you have to do the audit of the financial statements are you going to check these notes to account also yes because this notes to account also a part of the financial statements my question to you is is notes to account also a part of the financial yes. statements yes so will auditor do the audit of all this notes to account also yes right so that's their stand alone you understand stand alone and conso right what is stand alone financial statement jaise abhi jo humne reliance industries ka dekha that is stand alone reliance industries alone but reliance industries as we saw they have so many subsidiary associate joint venture to so, un sab ka mila ke jab wo financial statements prepare karte hai so then that is called as the consolidated financial statements so next you get to see over your the consolidated financial statements so now instead of the balance sheet it is called as the instead of the balance sheet now it will be called as the consolidated balance sheet right consolidated balance sheet their total is 17 there it was some 9 crore now here it is some 17 crore and then you look at their consolidated revenue it is coming to 10 lakh 122 crore right 10 lakh 122 crore and then they have the profit for the year as 79000 crore right the consolidated revenue right so what we are talking about as a lagta hai ke audit is a theory subject but see it's actually the most practical subject that we are studying and actually it's the most practical subject that we are studying so why i showed you this in the beginning so that you have an idea ke kyunki jab hum log audit ki baat karenge we are going to talk about different types of audit like internal audit and statutory audit and other varieties of audit but main jo apna discussion hoga that is going to be regarding the statutory audit right main discussion of regarding which audit are we going to do the main discussion that we will do is going to be regarding the statutory audit what is statutory audit audit which is required to be done under a statute what do you mean by statute law an audit which is required by law audit which is required by a statute an audit required by law an audit required by law which is nothing but the statute okay and here where we talk about the statutory audit mainly we are talking about the audit of the financial statements which is required by which law which is required by the companies act 2013 if it's a company and every company is required to get its financial statements audited under section 139 you have the appointment of the company auditor 143 you have the rights and duties of company auditor and so we are going to whenever i say statutory audit when i only say audit also yahan apna audit matlab audit of financial statements unless otherwise specified कोई दूसरा ऑडिट अगर होगा तो उसके पहले आई विल से इट इज इंटरनल ऑडिट बट वेन आई ओनली से ऑडिट दैट मीन्स इट हैज टू बी द ऑडिट ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स है ना ऑडिट ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस कैश फ्लो एसओसी नोट्स टू अकाउंट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑडिट ऑफ द 
financial statements the statutory audit right the audit which is required by law which is required under the companies act 2013 okay right so now for the preparation of the financial statements again let us go to the reliance industries uh, annual report over there right in that annual report let me come to the board of directors have you heard a term called as board of directors Yes, have you heard some term called as the board of directors of the company? Right, the management, the T. Uh, have you heard a term called as TCWG? TCWG, which is those charged with governance, and uh, those charged with governance. And a uh, TCWG, those charged with the uh, governance what can be the simplest definition of tcwg to begin my understanding with it is the highest level of management in an organization it is the highest level of management in an organization like have you heard of a term called as audit committee an audit committee i'll come to that term if you've not heard today you're listening it for the first time no problem board of directors in a company ke board of directors so ye kon hote highest level of management these are the tcwg 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 they give the strategic direction to the entity and you know, they give the strategic direction to the entity किस दिशा में हमें जाना है कि इन विच डायरेक्शन वॉट टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस वी आर कंपनी इज गेटिंग इन टू वॉट नेक्स्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट आर वी गोइंग टू डू हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू आर बिजनेस द गिव द स्ट्रैटेजिक डायरेक्शन टू द एंटिटी द हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एट द हाइएस्ट लेवल ऑफ द management in an organization okay right so in the company you will have the bod who is bod board of directors then under the board of directors you will have the ceo do you know ceo chief executive officer the chief financial officer of the company the vice president of the company and so right these are who these are the management and below the management you have the employees right so highest level of management board of directors unke niche management uske niche employees right tcwg they give the tcwg they give the strategic direction to the entity tcwg they give the strategic direction to the entity whereas management they will do the execution part management they will do the execution part and employees will be working under the control of the management employees will be working under the control of the management okay tcwg highest level of management in an organization unke niche kon hota hai management and unke niche kon hota hai the employees of the company it is like son father and grandfather like that and at the highest level of management like you see the tarak mehta ka ulta chashma right the tapu is like the employee right then after that jethalal management type and then you know jethalal will say something and then champak chacha be okay what is it jethia hai na so that is tcwg highest level of the management and a board of directors and the highest level of the management ओके okay. क्या ऐसा हो सकता है कैन इट सो हैपन दैट इन सम कंपनीज मैनेजमेंट एंड टीसीडब्ल्यू जी इज वन एंड द सेम यस इन द स्मॉल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वहां पे करता धरता एक ही आप ही डिसाइड करते हो आप ही एग्जीक्यूट करते हो तो ऐसा हो सकता है दैट इन सम कंपनीज मैनेजमेंट टीसीडब्ल्यू जी कुड बी one and the same that is why many a times where you will read the sentence what you will read it as tcwg or management as appropriate and to aisa kyun likhte hai because every company need not have a tcwg but like a company like tata infosys reliance mahindra do they need to have a tcwg yes there there has to be the highest level of the management below them you will have to so tcwg bhi ek prakar ka management hi hai but wo highest level hai. So if you draw the organization pyramid, जो tip of the pyramid पे है, peak पे है, that is 
बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स टीसीडब्ल्यूजी उनके नीचे है मैनेजमेंट और फिर उनके नीचे है द एम्प्लॉज ऑफ द कंपनी डू यू अंडरस्टैंड नेक्स्ट टाइम आई यूज द टर्म फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आई यूज द वर्ड टीसीडब्ल्यू जी इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी वन TCWG, the highest level of management in the organization, right? So you look into the Reliance Industries, right? They talk about their board of directors, right? So who are the board of directors of the company, right? So they have given the entire, right? The financial performance and review, right? Is being done by these are the yes, the management people or so. And then after that, they have this board of directors type, the highest level of management in the organization. Right, the highest level of the management in the organization, right? So that is the TCWG, right? That is the highest level. And the पहले हम लोग क्या बोलते थे SWOT analysis. अभी भी जब आप SM पढ़ते हो तो it is called as a SWOT analysis. But they say weakness is a very negative word. So you should call it as a challenge. You should not say it's my weakness. You say that's a challenge to me. ठीक है इंग्लिश कीप्स ऑन इवॉल्विंग सो दैट इज वाई दे नाउ कॉल इट एज डोंट से इट्स माई स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस से इट्स माई स्ट्रेंथ एंड चैलेंज वट आई डोंट नो इट्स नॉट माई वीकनेस इट्स जस्ट दैट आई डोंट येट नो इट आई एम गोइंग टू नो इट शॉर्टली दैट वे राइट सो दे से योर स्ट्रेंथ योर चैलेंजेस योर अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड थ्रेट्स ओके राइट सो दैट इज वेयर राइट दे टॉक अबाउट द स्कॉट एनालिसिस एंड द डिफरेंट बिजनेस दैट रिलायंस इज इन टू राइट सो एनी वेज रिलायंस इज वन एनुअल रिपोर्ट विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन great detail and just as an example for us to get an understanding of the entire subject right we are going to discuss this particular reliance report over there okay right anyways now coming to my further discussion right so is as what i have i discussed with you so far okay what are the chapters you know the 11 chapters then i talk to you about the paper pattern you should not lose sight no ke kya chal raha hai class mein and then after that we discuss the term financial statements then we discuss the term tcwg okay right so anyways why i came to the term tcwg ke preparation and presentation ye jo financial statements prepare karne ka jo kaam hai somebody has to sit and prepare no do you think balance sheet profit and loss cash flow statement notes to account every time when i say financial statements whose responsibility it is to prepare the financial statements it is the responsibility of the management tcwg they will oversee the preparation of financial statements but as such preparation presentation and a preparation and the presentation preparation and the presentation of the financial statements whose responsibility it is the responsibility of the management can some cases management tcwg be one and the same yes right but preparation presentation of financial statements is the responsibility of the management it is the responsibility of the management okay now you give me an answer to a simple question are you all listening to me everyone okay right so you give me an answer to a simple question ki two companies hai you na know, two company asset liability income expense being exactly the same ke inke paas agar char building hai to unke paas bhi char building hai inki teen liability hai to inki bhi teen hai inka 700 crore income hai to inka bhi 700 crore hai inka jitna rent hai itna inka bhi rent hai ekdam same to same asset liability income expense two companies having ekdam same to same asset liability income expense can they have different profits can they show different profits but they are asset liability income expenses same to same it depends on the management what depends on the management how they prepare means exactly what does how can efficiency decide my financial state okay so i'll do less mistakes so my financial statement will show different profit okay anything else that you would like to say policies exactly exactly that is the point what i wanted ke accounting policies could be different like say they have their inventory now inventory what are the methods which i can use for the valuation of inventory fifo or the weighted average method lifo is it allowed by the as or the indas to no 
लीफो इज नॉट अलाउड बट बिटवीन फीफो वेटेड एवरेज कोई भी यूज किया तो चलेगा क्या बिटवीन डब्ल्यू डी वी एस एल एम आई यूज एनी इज इट ओके it it depends no okay, which you consider it to be a more fair presentation of your financial statements right so two company asset liability income expense being exactly the same can still can they show different profits yes they can show the different yes what you say different profits over there right why because there could be a difference in the accounting policies okay right so now ye fifo ya weighted average ye kaise decide hua We said कि you select FIFO भी weighted average कुछ भी चलेगा but LIFO नहीं चलेगा but FIFO weighted average anything will do who has said this from where did you get this the accounting standard exactly right the accounting standard the AS the INDS the IFRS है ना the international financial reporting standard you can play you can have different accounting policies but you have to be within the framework within the boundary of what is given in the accounting standard in days uske beyond nahi ja sakte ha as ke andar jo option hai ke cost or nrv whichever is lower long term investment current investment that you decide that much classification but can you go beyond that no so that is why management when you prepare the financial statements can directly can you compare the financial statements of two company ke oh their income is 100 crore and their income is 120 crore can you directly compare no you first have to study their accounting policies why because the accounting policies may be different why because the accounting policies may be different right they might be having a more conservative accounting policy they might be having a more aggressive accounting policy one might be using fifo estimated useful life of asset may be different but all this accounting policy has to be keeping in mind the requirements of the accounting standards right the accounting standards ke ye pata hai ke bhale hi thoda accounting policy idhar udhar hoga ek ka fifo hoga ek ka weighted average hoga but ek baat to pakka hai ke both financial statements would be prepared as per the accounting standards both of them would the disclosures would have been given as per the schedule 3 to the companies act 2013 and the disclosures would have been given as per the schedule 3 to the companies act 2013 okay right so now who has issued these accounting standards right who has issued these accounting standards right the icai right the institute you have the accounting standard board of the icai right so if i put over here icai right and then if i come to the resources and then i come to the accounting standards right resources and i come to the accounting standards right you have the as and indas right so you see the different accounting standards compendium of the accounting standards as on right all the accounting standards given over there the framework and so right so the entire compendium of the accounting standards being given over your oh my god hai na how many out of these you've studied अब हो गया नहीं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट तो गॉन राइट देन यू हैव दिस ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन राइट सो दीज आर ऑल द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स राइट द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स नाउ इफ यू सी द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स यू आल्सो हैव द कमिटीज ऑफ द आईसीएआई राइट द नॉन स्टैंडिंग कमिटी वेर इन यू हैव द ए एस बी के हु इशूज ये अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड आए कहां से somebody would have issued no these accounting standards right? so you have the accounting standard board of the icai right you have the meetings and then the publications in days accounting standard as rules wagaire right so all this is relating to the accounting right so financial statements so what have we understood so far everyone okay financial statements they are prepared by the management for the preparation of financial statements the management could make use of the accounting standards the indas ifrs whatever is applicable to that particular company okay now you know if, uh, like example now my drawing is very very creative you know it's very dangerous i can say but say example this is a t-shirt is it looking like okay whatever a car to if i draw it looks like a chua only so anyways okay right so anyways this is the t-shirt 
ओके नॉर्मल यू गो टू एनी फैशन स्ट्रीट हाथी पोल में मिलता है क्या टी शर्ट पता नहीं है ना सो यू गो टू एनी मार्केट और एनी वेयर ओवर देयर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बाई योर टी शर्ट है ना ओके सो नाउ हाउ मच लाइक नॉर्मल जस्ट अ प्लेन येलो कलर टी शर्ट नॉर्मल फैब्रिक लाइक कोई नथिंग ग्रेट लाइक नॉर्मल यूजेबल तो कितने का आएगा फोर हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज डन पक्का बार्गेनिंग करना है क्या थोड़ा दो सौ में दे दो अच्छा ठीक है दो सौ में ले लो नो प्रॉब्लम ओके राइट अब ये सेम टी शर्ट पे एक टिक लगा देते हैं अब कितने का आएगा हाँ एक जीरो और बढ़ा दो फोर थाउजेंड का आएगा नाइकी के स्टोर में जाओ नो फिर वो टी शर्ट जो तुम बोलोगे मैम सेम ही तो है मैम अभी वहां चार सौ में था यहाँ एक टिक लग गया तो हो गया अब ये कार है है ना इसको एक इंजन लगा दिया ड्राइवर का सीट स्टीयरिंग लगा दिया चलेगी तो प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यार चलेगी आजकल बहुत स्टार्टअप चलता है तो ये चलेगी कार ओके तो ये कार कितने में अभी बोलो पांच लाख पचास हजार पांच हजार अरे इतना नहीं रे ऐसे मत करो पांच लाख ठीक है फाइव लाख है ना ठीक है अब इसके ऊपर ना हम लोग इधर चार सर्कल लगा देते हैं एक जीरो और सीधा हिसाब है मैम जीरो की बात है मैम सिर्फ राइट साइड में लगाना है डिड यू सी ओके अब कंपनी ने फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बनाए मैनेजमेंट बोलते यार जी तोड़ के जी तोड़ के फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बनाए पूरा अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड मर मर के पड़ा एकदम बनाया प्लीज आप यूज करो शेयर होल्डर्स को देते हैं शेयर होल्डर बोलते है, नहीं भाई हाउ केन आई ट्रस्ट ये ब्रांडेड नहीं है ये फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स हुआ प्रिपेयर्ड मैनेजमेंट आते ब्रांडेड नो दे जस्ट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स वो क्या बोलते हैं कि प्लीज सीए के पास लेके जाओ ऑडिट करवा के लाओ फिर ये क्या कहे जाएंगे ऑडिटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स and now will everybody rely on them yes so ca is doing a branding of the financial statements how are you relying ke bhai our reliance ka revenue 10 lakh 122 crore hai how you rely ke it is 10 lakh 122 crore auditor has said he has issued his audit report so look over here everyone if i say financial statements it is balance sheet profit and loss cash flow statement soce and the note summary wo maine detail mein already likha hua hai but now same thing if i say this is audited financial statements then it starts with the independent auditors report abhi dekha reliance ke balance sheet ke pehle kya tha Did you see Reliance की स्टैंड अलोन कंसो के बैलेंस शीट के पहले क्या था इंडिपेंडेंट ऑडिटर्स रिपोर्ट इंडिपेंडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू हैंग ऑफ अ बिग डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द ऑडिटर के ऑडिटर कैन यू बी बायस्ड कैन यू हैव साइड्स विद द मैनेजमेंट नॉट एट ऑल यू नो नाफ्रा यू माइट नॉट बी नोइंग आई कम यूर टू टेल यू ऑल वॉट यू डोंट नो यू नो नाफ्रा नेशनल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग अथॉरिटी हिंदी में पढ़ना है क्या सब्जेक्ट रुको हम लोग एन एफ आर ए को हिंदी में है ना राष्ट्रीय वित्तीय रिपोर्टिंग प्राधिकरण यू नो वॉट ऑडिट इज कॉल्ड इन हिंदी ऑडिट को हिंदी में क्या बोलते हैं अंकेक्षण मैं आपको अंकेक्षण पढ़ाने आई हूं ठीक है याद रखना ओके राइट सो नेशनल फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग अथॉरिटी द राष्ट्रीय वित्तीय रिपोर्टिंग प्राधिकरण एंड लुक एट दी ऑर्डर्स ओ माय गॉड यू नो प्रैक्टिसिंग एज अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट लाइक वी कैन जस्ट सी है ना सीसीडी का देखते हैं है ना कैफे कॉफी डे दिस ऑर्डर डिस्पोज ऑफ द शो कॉज नोटिस फॉर बी एस आर एंड एसोसिएट्स राइट दी चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट नेम गिवन ओवर देयर एग्जीक्यूटिव समरी दे एग्जाम दी प्रोफेशनल मिसकंडक्ट हम लोग एथिक्स के बारे में पढ़ने वाले है ना वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू टेक यू थ्रू दी एंटायर रिपोर्ट है ना बट वी कम टू द वर्डिक्ट ऑफ द एन एफ आर ए ऑर्डर Right, so this order it says uh, where professional misconduct has been made, debarring the member or the firm. Right, so what does it say? Email dated the statutory audit fee, considering the professional misconduct, impose a monetary penalty of ten crore on BSR and associates LLP and fifty lakh upon CA so and so, twenty five lakh upon the CA. And in addition, CA so and so is debarred 
stopped, not allowed to practice for a period of 10 years. 10 years practice karne ka nahi. Not allowed to practice as a CA and is debarred for a period of 5 years from being appointed as an auditor, internal auditor or from undertaking any audit in respect of financial statements or internal audit of the functions and activities of any company or body corporate. Right? So, you have these very strict actions being taken by the NAFRA and apart from the NAFRA, just one more I show it to you over there. You also have this, we study more in CA final, but you have the disciplinary mechanism of the ICAI. And now, tumhara koi CA hai. Hai na? Tumhara koi family business hai aur uska koi CA hai. Ab tum bolte yaar, ye CA thik se kaam nahi kar rahe. And you say that the CA is not doing work properly. I want to file a complaint against the CA. You say that no one CA, or yeah, one CA wants to file a complaint against another CA, that he has taken my work. You know, any person wants to file a complaint, bank to complain file karni against CA. You say, ma'am, where can complain file kar sakte? You have the disciplinary mechanism. It says file a complaint. Then any person, any institution can come and file a complaint with the disciplinary mechanism of the ICAI and then you have the orders passed. Right? You have the entire list of the orders passed by the board of discipline and the disciplinary committee. Right? So, we can just look at one particular order over there. Right? So, you see this name of the CA. And, uh, the, so, who has filed the complaint? Sanjay Jain versus the chartered accountant and then what is the complaint regarding? We don't go into the details of the case. Right, regarding what is the complaint about but at the end of it what does it say such a big order being passed and thus in conclusion is con in the considered opinion of the board the respondent that means the CA is guilty and kuch to kada kiya hai CA ne, is guilty of other misconduct falling within the meaning of the Chartered Accountants Act you know just a company is governed by the Companies Act 2013 similarly Chartered Accountant is governed by the Chartered Accountants Act 1949, right? the Chartered Accountants Act 1949, right? so you see so many of the orders passed by the Board of Discipline and also the Disciplinary Committee, Disciplinary Committee ko to usko to bhoat zyada gussa hai, you know, they to have complete non-tolerance against the Chartered Accountants, right, so in the matter of so and so and then you see the order passed, right, so again CA has been removed from the register of member, so you know, once you become a CA, your name is entered into the Register of members of the ICAI and you get your registration number from the institute, right? So, it says the CA registration number has been removed for a period of 45 days and a fine of 1 lakh has been imposed of him to be paid within 90 days of the receipt of the order. Right? So, fine is one part of it, but you know when your name is removed from the register of member, I think that is where your, there are these small, small articles doing articleship under you and you come to know principal ka to gaya, 6 in a 45 days ke liye membership. You know, something like that, right? So, yeah, you have to be, it's like, you know, a hanging sword. And practicing as a chartered accountant, there are hundreds, you know, you have taken one of the best decisions of your life deciding to become a chartered accountant. But, you know, it comes at its own cost that you always have to be vigilant. And now, you have 100 clients ko theek se serve kiya. And 100 clients, you know, you did your work very properly. One client, one mistake and gone. And now the entire reputation and everything, the goodwill which you built up in the profession, it will collapse like a pack of cards. And it entirely collapses like a pack of cards over there. Okay, right. So anyways, we are talking about the independent audited financial statement. So ye financial statement say ye hai audited financial statement. So audited financial statements bole to brand lag jayega. And like I told you the t-shirt, now there is a Pick on the t-shirt. Similarly, now this is independent audit report. Or baki to same. Balance sheet, profit and loss, cash flow, SOCE and the notes to account. Do you understand? Right? The financial statements and the audited financial statements. And okay, what is the audited financial statements? Okay, right. Now, preparation and presentation of the financial statements whose responsibility it is the responsibility of the management okay now this management or this board of directors of the company who has appointed them the board of directors you know the management of the company management is running the company on whose behalf on behalf of the shareholders of the company 
and shareholders of the company so you know because management say we can the shareholders say we can't look into the day to day affairs of the company so that is why they appoint the management the board of directors that you run the company on our behalf management says we have run the company on your behalf this is your financial statement now can the shareholders rely on the financial statements prepared by the management no so that is why shareholders appoint a auditor statutory auditor they appoint an auditor Okay, you go on our behalf to the company and you check the financial statements. You give us a independent auditor's report, and then we will be able to rely on these financial statements. Are you able to follow? Yes, management has prepared financial statements. Who has appointed management? Shareholders. Okay, now management said very good. You appointed us. We run the company. These are the financial statements that we have prepared. Can shareholders rely? No. So that is why shareholders say we appoint management. We will also appoint the auditor. Auditor, you go on our behalf to the company. You check the financial statements prepared by the management. You give us a report, and then we can decide whether to rely or not to rely on those financial statements. Okay. Do you understand one reason why an audit is required? Because there is a gap between the owners of the company and the runners of the company. Who are the owners of the company? The shareholders. Who are the runners? The managers of the company? The management. Now, who bridge? Who, who is the bridge between the gap? The auditor. Who is bridging the gap over there? The auditor. Rather than so many shareholders coming, auditor says, "I will go and I will tell you." And regarding the financial performance of the company, okay, right. So now, say example, there is a company, Geo Limited. Example, and it's just some random company, Geo Limited. Okay, now this Geo Limited wants a loan from the bank. And I say they want a loan of the thousand crore from the bank. Example. Okay, so now for this loan, they the managing director of Geo Limited he approaches the bank. Okay, now bank says, oh, you want a loan of thousand crore? Show us your financial statements. Okay, now right now the real situation is that the financial statements of Geo Limited are showing a loss of four thousand crore. Example, and a loss of four thousand crore. अगर सही ईमानदारी से अगर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स बनाए तो राइट नाउ दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ जियो से एग्जांपल आर शोइंग अ लॉस ऑफ 4000 करोर बट मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर नोस के आई विल गो टू बैंक सेइंग बैंक बैंक गिव मी अ लोन एंड दे इफ आई आस्क देम फॉर अ लोन दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क मी फॉर financial statements and if they ask me for financial statements and i give them these financial statements which show loss of 4000 करोर दे आर नेवर गोइंग टू गिव मी द लोन they are never going to give me the loan that is why now what the managing director does when he has to prepare the financial statements he inflates the value of the assets hai na to sare asset ka liability increase kiya sari liabilities ka value kam kiya revenue over recognition purchases expenses अंडर रिकॉर्डिंग और ऐसा सब करके अब फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट में देर इज अ प्रॉफिट शोन ऑफ दी सेवन थाउजेंड करोर एग्जाम्पल है ना तो ओरिजिनल सिचुएशन क्या थी लॉस ऑफ दी फोर थाउजेंड करोर उसको क्या कर दिया जादू प्रॉफिट ऑफ दी सेवन थाउजेंड करोर ये जादू को क्या बोलते हैं विंडो ड्रेसिंग है ना विंडो ड्रेसिंग टू शो अ बेटर फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन देन वॉट एक्चुअली इज टू शो बेटर फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन देन वॉट एक्चुअली इज है ना टू शो बेटर बाय अप्लाइंग बटर है ना टू शो बेटर बाय अप्लाइंग दी बटर है ना दैट इज वॉट देव डन विंडो ड्रेसिंग To show better financial position that what actually is by inflate over valuing the assets, under recording of liability, inflating the revenue, under recording of purchases. What they have done? Converted plain rice to biryani. 
है ना प्लेन राइस था बिल्कुल अभी प्लेन राइस खा के देखो बोले कि यार इसमें कोई टेस्ट ही नहीं है ये कैसा है फिर उसमें थोड़ा कैश्यू नट्स है ना काजू एंड कैश्यू नट्स एंड अनियन एंड फ्रेंच बीन्स एंड कैरेट एंड एवरीथिंग यू पुट देन यू से हाँ नाउ वेरी नाइस हाँ वेरी गुड बिरयानी मसाला वट दैट एवरेस्ट मसाला यू पुट एंड एवरी फिर अब मजा आ गया ओके राइट सो लाइक दैट नाउ ही नोस With these financial statements, if I go to the bank showing profit of seven thousand crore, will bank be willing to give me the order or the loan of seven uh, loan of one thousand crore? Yes. So, managing director, what is the situation that I am assessing? Managing director wants a loan of one thousand crore. So he knows that if I go to the bank, bank is going to ask me for financial statements. Actual situation, so what lagi hui hai? There is a loss of. 4000 crore so they know that if i have to get a loan i have to show the better position that is why she prepared financial statement showing a profit of the 7000 crore so now with this financial statement showing the profit of the 7000 crore now the managing director goes to the bank and showing these financial statements having the profit of the 7000 crore now will the bank be willing to give the loan This bank will say, "Acha, who prepared these financial statements?" Management will say, "I prepared. I, me, me, ko aata hai. I prepared financial statements." Okay. They say, "Did anybody check?" They say, "No, nobody check." Well, go, go and get them audited. We are not going to rely on these financial statements. Go and get them audited. Now, managing director again, Duvida me. Hi Ram. First, I thought if I prepare showing profit of seven thousand crore, I thought they will give me the loan. But now again, they are saying audit. So then he remembers. Oh Ram, one of my brother, he is a chartered accountant. है ना सो देन ही कॉल अरे बहुत अपना बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम में है अभी थोड़ा बैंक का लोन चाहिए वगैरह तो इसीलिए बैंक गए तो बैंक बोलते सीए का रिपोर्ट लेके आओ तो थोड़ा देख लो है ना प्लीज लिटिल बिट सी ओके सो नाउ ब्रदर इज नो प्रॉब्लम है ना तुम लेके आ जाओ ऑफिस में फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट हम देख लेते हैं रिपोर्ट दे देंगे है ना तो अब फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स में क्या है प्रॉफिट सेवन थाउजेंड क्रोर है ना ब्रदर के ऑफिस में देर आर आर्टिकल्स एंड एम्प्लॉयज एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट दे स्टार्ट चेकिंग फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट अरे भैया इसमें तो बहुत फ्रॉड एरर है तो बोलते हैं अरे भाई है ना देन ही विल लाइक व्हाट इज दिस यू नो अगर भाई भाई के काम नहीं आएगा तो कैसे दुनिया चलेगी तो बोले कोई बात नहीं भैया ठीक है आई एल गिव यू ऑडिट रिपोर्ट नो प्रॉब्लम नाउ अगेन ही गोज टू द बैंक बैंक क्या आपने बोला था रिपोर्ट लेकर आओ सीए का ये देखो रिपोर्ट लेके आ गए है ना एंड अगेन नाउ प्रॉफिट ऑफ सेवन थाउजेंड क्रॉप एंड ऑल्सो दी ऑडिट रिपोर्ट वॉट इज आई आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑडिटर्स रिपोर्ट ओके नाउ मै बैंक आस हु प्रिपेर्ड these financial statements he says i who gave this report bole brother bole get out get out you cannot get your financial statements audited from a relative you understand no you cannot get them it has to be an independent auditor's report this is not independent because there is subjectivity there is bias there is possibility of bias so that is why what they say ki we don't want any bias in the audit opinion we want an independent third party to express an opinion independent who should not come under the pressure under the influence of the management or be scared you know while expressing his opinion that brother is scared there is a fraud of 7000 crore that the profit is not right 7000 crore brother should have Said it, but then we said no. My brother is in trouble. How I can say a bank will not give loan of thousand crore? So that is why they say we don't only want audit report. We want an independent auditor's report. Okay, right. So, anyways, I hope you understand. Okay, what is the necessity of audit also? Well, it's like getting your financial statements branded. I know that is like the concept of getting the audit done. Okay, so now, anyways, the point which we have reached to so far, okay, financial statements. Who prepares? Management to prepare financial statements. Management follows the accounting standards in the ASIFRF, which has been issued by the ASB, the Accounting Standard Board of the ICAI. Now, CA has been appointed to do the audit of these financial statements. CA, he is the auditor. है ना सो मैनेजमेंट आई कैन ऑल्सो कॉल दम एज दी ऑडी 
टी एंड सी ए आई कुड कॉल एम एज दी ऑडिटर है ना द सी ए और दी ऑडिटर चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट है ना दी चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट ओके सो नाउ ऑडिटर वेन यू डू दी ऑडिट नाउ आई एम कमिंग टू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑडिट टर्म ऑफ यूर के मैनेजमेंट वेन यू प्रिपेयर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट यू हैव टू फॉलो दी मैनेजमेंट वेन यू प्रिपेयर दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट यू हैव टू फॉलो दी अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑडिटर वेन यू डू दी ऑडिट ऑफ दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट ऑडिटर वेन यू डू दी ऑडिट ऑफ दी financial statements auditor you need to follow the sa that is the standards on auditing right auditor you need to follow the sa what is the sa the standards on auditing and who has issued the standards on auditing now the double asb of the icai what is the double asb the auditing and assurance standard board of the icai right the auditing and assurance standard board of the icai right so management they have to follow accounting standard auditor you have to follow the standards on auditing hai na standards on auditing you follow everyone okay initially before 1980s there were no auditing standards okay but in 1980s the auditing assurance standard board was created and then after that first time jab originally a auditing standard issue hue to that time they were called as the sap the statements on auditing practices i'm telling you the history of the auditing standards they were called as the statements on the auditing practices right originally when the auditing standards were issued then after that they were renamed to be called as the aas what is aas auditing and assurance standards so when i wrote my ca for inter and ca final that time we had the aas in our syllabus auditing and assurance standards Like in two thousand six, I uh, finished my inter, and two thousand eight, I did my CA final. So that time in our syllabus, we had the AAS, the Auditing and Assurance Standard, you know, AAS, right? And now these Auditing and Assurance Standards have been renamed to be called as the EQCS. What is EQCS? Engagement and Quality Control Standards. engagement and quality control standards and under this eqcs one of the variety is the sa that is standards on audit right so originally it was sap then it became aas now instead of aas you have the eqcs engagement quality control standards jiske panch prakar hai ek type uska jo hai wo hai एस ए क्या पांच प्रकार है आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू बट स्लोली वन बाय वन वन बाय वन है ना तो ओरिजिनली जब इंस्टीट्यूट ने स्टैंडर्ड्स इशू किए थे तो देवर स्टेटमेंट्स ऑन ऑडिटिंग प्रैक्टिसेस एस ए पी वन एस ए पी टू एस ए पी थ्री एस ए पी फोर फिर उसके बाद जब मैंने अपनी एग्जाम्स लिखी थी तो इट वॉज ए एस so like we used to have as1 we used to have as1 as2 as2 as3 as4 as5 like that but now they have renamed all these auditing and assurance standard to be called as the engagement and quality control standards are you all with me engagement and quality control standards very soon this quality control also they are going to rename it as quality management because they say you can't control you have to manage but that is still under the exposure draft right now it is called as the engagement and the quality control standards right engagement and quality control standards okay eqcs everybody please pay attention this is a part of chapter number 1 engagement and quality control standards okay right in the engagement it says there are four types of engagement which can be performed by a ca in the engagement है ना जब आपको ऑडिट करने के लिए अपॉइंट किया गया है सो यू हैव बीन एंगेज टू डू एन ऑडिट 
है ना सो एंगेजमेंट सो वन यू कुड बी एंगेज टू डू एन ऑडिट और यू कुड बी एंगेज टू डू अ रिव्यू और यू कुड बी एंगेज टू डू एन अश्योरेंस एंगेजमेंट अदर देन ऑडिट और रिव्यू और यू कुड बी एंगेज टू प्रोवाइड द रिलेटेड सर्विसेज वॉट इज ऑल दिस आई एम कमिंग टू इट शॉर्टली बट समवेर हैव टू स्टार्ट विथ इट है ना तो एंगेजमेंट एज द सी ए मुझे क्या क्या काम के लिए एंगेज कर सकते हैं क्लाइंट टू डू दी ऑडिट टू डू दी रिव्यू टू डू दी अदर अश्योरेंस अदर देन ऑडिट रिव्यू वॉट इज इच ऑफ दिस आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू या तो क्लाइंट माइट अपॉइंट मी फॉर डूइंग सम रिलेटेड सर्विसेस ओके तो नाउ क्लाइंट कैन अपॉइंट मी क्लाइंट यू अंडरस्टैंड क्लाइंट ऑडिटी है ना द क्लाइंट ओके दे कैन अपॉइंट मी टू डू ऑडिट रिव्यू अदर अश्योरेंस और रिलेटेड सर्विसेस कुछ भी काम करने के लिए अगर अपॉइंट किया बट शुड आई मेंटेन क्वालिटी इन माई वर्क कैसा है कि ऑडिट में क्वालिटी रखो रिव्यू में नहीं रखा तो भी चलेगा रिलेटेड सर्विसेज नहीं देन ऑल माई वर्क डू आई हैव टू मेंटेन क्वालिटी Yes. So for that we have a quality control standard. So for that we have a quality control standard, right? Quality control SQC. What is SQC? Standard on quality control. Standard on quality control. SQC. Standard on quality control. Now, when I am appointed to do an audit. when i am engaged by my client to do an audit i need to follow the standards on auditing when i am appointed to do a review i need to follow the standards on standards on review engagement when i am appointed to do other assurance i have to follow the standards on assurance engagement right the standards on assurance engagement and when i am appointed to do the related services i need to follow the standards on related services right standards on related services right so you have the sa what is sa standards on auditing then sre which is standards on review engagement sae which is standards on assurance engagement s rs which is standards on related services and sqc which is standard on quality control so sa sre sae srs and sqc you see all the yellow colors engagement and quality control standard for quality control sqc standard on quality control whatever be the type of engagement ki ya to main audit karu ya to review karu ya to assurance ya to related services quality to banta hi hai quality to always has to be maintained so that is called as the mother standard also standard on quality control and then engagement you have four types of the engagement standards what are the four types of the engagement standards standards on auditing standards on review engagement standards on assurance engagement standards on related services so when you are appointed to do an audit you will follow the standards on auditing when you are appointed to do a review you will follow the standards on review engagement when you are appointed for an assurance service other than audit or review then you will follow the standards on the assurance engagement and when you are appointed to do the related services you will follow the standards on the related services okay in total 46 engagement and quality control standards have been issued by the icai 46 engagement and quality control standards have been issued in that you have 38 standards on auditing two standards on review engagement three on assurance engagement two on related services and one quality control so see if the total is coming to 46 sqc hai na one sqc ka ek standard so 38 plus 2 40 40 plus 3 43 plus 
45 and one standard on the quality control right one standard on the quality control can i write it one more time see engagement and quality control standards what are the engagement and quality control standards sa sre sae SRS and SQC. How many standards on auditing? 38. 2, 3, 2 and 1. That is the breakup of the 46 engagement and quality control standards. That is the breakup of the 46 engagement and quality control standards. Okay. Out of this. 46 introductory to sare ka hai but out of these 46 29 standards on auditing and one standard on quality control is applicable for your ca inter audit syllabus out of this 46 engagement and quality control standards 29 standards on auditing and one standard on quality control that is 30 standards is applicable for your CA inter syllabus and obviously all 46 applicable for CA final. CA final mein jo inter ke 30 hai wo fir se copy paste plus you have like the remaining 16 also applicable for CA final. Right? So one of the more technical part of the audit subject jo rona dhona hota hai wo ya hota hai. It just standards pe aata hai. because obviously standard hai, so you know it has to be technical stuff and it has to be the technical content over there but yeah this is where what we also have in our syllabus then you say ma'am what chapters you mentioned us mein to kahi aapne bola hai nahi koi standard hello so now those standards are integrated into the discussions of the chapters these standards ka discussion like when i study the chapter number like you know if i come to the content of the book okay right if i come to the this is the same book which has been given to all of you this is the list hai na agar aap pehla dekho chapter 0 uske bare mein to humne baat hi nahi ki okay right it is chapter 0 list of standards and important terms so there you see the list of these 46 standards given over there right jaise sqc 1 jo maine aapko abhi bataya Hello, well, uske baad, now you see this auditing standard, SA 200. So, you know, one of the inter class I started teaching and then I said the first auditing standard that we will study is SA 200. So, the student ko, madam, 200 standard hai. Nahin, 200 dekke se lagta hai, nahin, 200 hai. Nahin, wo shuru hi 200 se hota hai. It goes up to 4000. Okay. That's... <laughs> Right? So, it goes up to 4000, but it starts only with 200. Then there is a question, ma'am, line se kyun hai? Jase earlier it was AS1, AS2, AS3, AS4, but now they have kept it as SA. Because just for every standard on auditing, you know, agar ICAI ne, ICAI ke auditing assurance standard board ne standard on auditing issue kiya hai. You have the international auditing and assurance standard board which first issues the international standards on auditing. International standards. Oh, ek bar international standard issue hua ki uska copy paste karke national standard is prepared. So, international standard mein inhoni ye series ka concept create kiya hai. Okay, all the basics will be in the 200 series, all the evidence will be in 500 series, audit report will be in 700 series. Like you see 200, then I told you all evidence guys in the 500, then all the audit report is in the 700 series. Like just say, pehle hai na, sir, 700, 705 hota tha. Phir unko man mein aaya ki, aray nahi, ki audit matter ka bhi hona chahiye. So now there is a scope na, ki 700, 705 ke beech mein 701 dal diya. So, they can introduce 1, 2, 3, 4. If you keep it in a line, you don't have the scope to introduce any new standards over there. So, here they have the margin, you know, like they can put a 702, 703, 704 and all of that. 705, 706. Right. So, now at inter level, do you all have the books with you? Okay. Right. So, this is the first, like we have to make a list of 30, no? So, SQC1 is so applicable for you. Hey, no? SQC1 applicable then 200 210 220 230 so 2 3 4 5 40 50 not applicable at inter level right then 6 are you with me right so sqc 1 pe maine kya likha number 1 fir uske baad 200 yes 210 
yes 220 yes 230 yes 40 50 no right then after that you have the right 260 265 299 yes and you know, applicable for ca inter 9 10 11 12 402 no 30 right so yeah 402 no तो अभी तक मेरा थर्टीन तक आया है टोटल आई होप योर ऑल्सो कम स्टिल थर्टीन योर विथ मी सी वन एस क्यू सी वन देन टू टू हंड्रेड थ्री टू वन जीरो फोर टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी सिक्स टू सिक्सटी सेवन टू सिक्सटी फाइव एट टू नाइनटी नाइन नाइन थ्री हंड्रेड टेन थ्री वन फाइव इलेवन थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व थ्री थर्टी थर्टीन Four fifty fourteen, five hundred fifteen, five zero one sixteen, five zero five seventeen, five one zero eighteen, five twenty nineteen, five thirty five forty. Not there. अपने मन से लिखना मत चालू करो. Right? Nineteen five forty. Not there. So nineteen is five thirty twenty, five fifty twenty one, five sixty twenty two, five seventy twenty three. 580. Then 24 is 600. 25 is 610. 620. No. 620. No. And then 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. 720. No. Right. So these are the 30 standards. I told you one standard on quality control. Very good. SQC and 29 standards on the audit team. Right, twenty nine standards on the audit thing. Yes, I can make a list for you other ways. Okay, you know, SA two forty, two fifty, four zero two, five forty. Right, then after that the six twenty, seven twenty, eight hundred, eight zero five, eight one zero, one two three four five six seven eight nine. These are not applicable. है ना टोटल कितने ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स हैं टोटल कितने ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स हैं 38 स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑन ऑडिटिंग आउट ऑफ दैट हाउ मेनी आर एप्लीकेबल फॉर योर एग्जाम्स 29 स्टैंडर्ड्स आर एप्लीकेबल सो दीज आर द नाइन स्टैंडर्ड्स व्हिच आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल है ना ये जो नाइन मैंने लिखे हैं टू फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी फोर जीरो टू फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स ट्वेंटी Seven twenty eight hundred eight zero five eight one zero not applicable. You understand? You follow, na? Everyone, you can tell me if anything you don't follow. Right? So total thirty eight standards on auditing है. अपने exam के लिए उसमें से से twenty nine applicable है. तो जो nine applicable नहीं है उसका हमने एक list बनाया यहाँ पे. And then, but do we have an introduction for SRE, SAE, SRS also? Yes. That all introduction is covered in chapter number one itself. Right? So the introduction, भले S R E exam में नहीं है, but S R E किसके related है? S A E what does it talk about? Whether that is there in your syllabus? Yes, that is there in the syllabus. Okay, right? So everybody, have you understood this very important term? Engagement and quality control standards. Engagement and Quality control standards. So CA final में तो बच्चियाँ मतलब 46 standards. Just imagine. I know they have the 46 standards to be studied over there. Engagement and the quality control standards. So let us again come to the ICAI website. Right. So ICAI. If I come to the ICAI website, here you see the resources and the engagement and quality control standards. Do you see SQC? Right, SQC one and then two hundred series. Right, the entire standards of the two hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. फिर ये देखो SRE है ना two standards SRE two four zero zero two four one zero. Then you have the other assurance three four zero zero three four zero two and three four two zero. And then the standards on the related services where only two standards on the related services are there. And again, institute also has a committee, a board called as the Auditing and Assurance Standard Board. Right? They have the Auditing and Assurance Standard Board of the ICAI. 
right so all these auditing standards audit working paper checklist on standards on auditing guidance note on audit of bank implementation guide technical guide on dig digital assurance right so they've also given a technical guide on the digital assurance in our chapter number 3 we also have a discussion regarding automated environment okay how to do the audit in the automated environment so any time you want the details you know of anything you know this is the place to come to and the auditing and assurance standard board you know where i am i committees icr committees non standing in that you have the auditing and assurance standard board okay right so there you see all this contents and you see the different committees which have been made of the icai right the non standing committees over there right they also have the committees for the digital i know they also have the digital you know the digital accounting and assurance standard board of the icai right so lot of new initiatives and even institute has implemented their chat gpt for student queries and all of that right so lot of uh, you know positive you know they've put their concept paper on rpa concept paper on blockchain technology right then so many report on automation and finance function right again institute has tied up with some hyderabad firm wherein they have come up with a software for doing audit you know audit software just a tally is an accounting software they've had a tie up for some audit software called as any audit and there is a software so it is 400 rupees per user per month that is the charges and there are many other audit softwares also there but you know just as there is an accounting software like tally or you know oracle or sap like that there is also the audit software because why reliance just a audit not possible to do it manually you need to have some audit software over there for conducting the audit right you need something called as the cats have you heard cats computer assisted audit techniques and a computer assisted audit techniques okay right so this is where you look into then you also look into the various you know courses offered by the icai many students even after they qualify they don't know that these are the additional courses provided by a icai only and now regarding forensic accounting fraud detection csr business responsibility but you say ma'am abhi ca final to padhne do fir ye aage dekhenge to theek hai but at least you know what is your uh, further achievements and you know, further things that you can do over there right so engagement and quality control standards right so ca management when you are preparing financial statements you have to follow the management when you are preparing the financial statements you have to follow the accounting standards auditor when you are doing the audit you need to follow the standards on the auditing can you tell me why are standards required you know how audit jaise karna hai uniformity like why what uniformity what uniformity are you talking about like can you give me an example i no standardization means uniformity but like what like a good example of uniformity could be the you i do my audit after i finish my audit i have to issue an audit report to so, audit report har koi apne hisab se banayega you understand no everybody will prepare in their own format but now can you prepare it in your own format no there is a format given by the standards on auditing sa 700 where the format of the audit report has been given so you will say are nahi nahi kpmg ka report zyada acha rehta hai are are nahi deloitte ka format zyada acha hai sabka format same hi rahega you understand no if your accounting is a problem you get your audit done from any of them the report is going to be the same Right, so there is a standard format of the report. When auditor is appointed, auditor needs to issue an engagement letter. So what should be written in that engagement letter? There is an auditing standard. When you do an audit, you have to obtain audit evidence. What evidence I obtain? Auditing standard. Right, so for everything over there, there is a uniformity, a standardization of the practices which has been brought by. Okay, right? You know the big fours. Obviously, what are the big fours? right deloitte kpmg ey yes pwc right these no pwc deloitte and kpmg and ey right so these are the big fours and they say their india revenue is coming to some 32700 crore 
Right, so yeah, big four get bigger. Combined revenue of EY, KPMG, Deloitte, PwC crosses 32,700 crore. Right, so that's a huge, huge potential, right? Lots of earnings. So it's like, you know, you get your audit done from a big four. They say we don't do any audit which is less than 50 lakh. You know, they're starting is, you know, the range only starts over there at 50 lakh plus. Like the lands and all, they charge 40 crore audit fee. Right? And the same audit, you get it done from a small firm for 4 lakh rupees, they are happy you know, to do the audit for you. So again, it's just the quality of the services. Right? So a lot of thoughts would have already started developing in your mind regarding, you know, uh, article ship and whether I should do big four and small. Whether you should do in big four, don't think of that question. Think of whether a big four will take me. You don't think that as if big four apna darwaza khol ke, dwar khol ke baithe ke tum kab aoge. You see your dreams, but then you also prepare yourself accordingly. No, big fours are receiving like you know 4,000 CVs and they have 20 vacancies, right? And then not very sure to what extent Jack works and how big is your Jack and what Jack ke paas bhi kitne Jacks aate. So, like it's a, a different you know consideration altogether. The yeah, it is a good thing to do your articleship in the big four, but it's not the only thing, and obviously, everybody can't do it over there, right? So rather than I saying that you dream like nee, mere ko to big four mein article chip karna hai, you say mujhe apne aapko capable karna hai. Okay, I am, you know, they call me for the article chip. Certainly they want both because they are spoiled for choices. Why should they compensate for anything? Unke paas agar 4,000 CVs are coming and they have 70 vacancies or 20 vacancies over there. Why are they going to compensate? Why they will? Obviously their first requirement is both group cleared first attempt. Right. One of their first requirement is both group cleared and first attempt and obviously in that too a anchor and all of that. Okay, right. So yeah, you keep it in your mind but then we'll as we proceed further in the class I will tell you regarding the big four mid size and everything. But I can say like okay for me it has worked out very good that I did my article chip in Deloitte that I was three years in the start audit department over there and now when I later on practically started teaching the subject you know I could correlate. Haan, haan, wo audit office mein karte the, that article chip so since that time you know it has been a very good uh, like imagination for me regarding the practical aspect of it yeah right so i cleared my foundation I, that time it was p1 p2 and final uh, so p1 i cleared in 2005 right i got 299 i think merit was at 300 but doesn't matter if you qualify in first attempt that itself is a self-given merit okay so 299 i got then after that uh, 2006 i cleared my p Two, I think I got some 294 and that time I missed by merit by 10 marks so it was 304 or something but again something for I don't remember like that it was 349 394 I think then 404 yeah 394 you know I had come first in my school like I was telling it to the team also yesterday like you know I had come first in my school and I had got 87 percent marks Aajkal to last student ke bhi 87 percent nahi aate hai. Aajkal to competition kitta hota hai, mere ko 99.96 aaya. Tujhe kitna hai 99.95, 99995, 99994. To ye to 99 ki ladai hai. And I'm like, okay, I think I am in some dinosaur time where 87 percent I got first rank in my school. Okay, right? So, <laughs> it's a different changing times. Okay, so then in 2006, I completed my CA inter and then I started first June, uh, first August 2006, I started my article chip in Deloitte. November 2008, I wrote my CA final exam. Jan 2009, I cleared. There, I don't know, somehow the All India rank 24 came, right? Because <laughs> it came exemption in almost all of these subjects and everything, right? So that was uh, January 2009. So then my article chip got over on 31st July 2009 because in our time it was 3 years article chip hota tha. And so then uh, between Jan 2009 to July 2009 I was a qualified CA doing my article chip because already in November 2008 I had written my exam in Jan 2009 mein, Result had already come, I had already qualified, but my article chip was still remaining. Right, so I remember first year in Deloitte, they used to give me a stipend of 5,000. Second year, I used to get a stipend of 10,000. Third year, it was 15,000. And then after January 2009, you know, till the time of July 2009, I finishing my article chip. That time, they used to give me a stipend of 43,000. Right, so it was a wonderful, huge amount. I don't know, like now the scales might be more different regarding the stipend and all of that. 
and then after that since september 2009 i have started teaching and then till today students are still tolerating me so it's going all okay <laughs> and then recently i have also started teaching inter strategic management because i think that anything which is theory i can manage to teach practical subject i think i cannot do a fair job with it but yeah theory i can i can manage to teach okay right so that's about me more about my study experience and how to plan and everything and that i will mention about it as we proceed further in the class okay right so is everybody clear about the term engagement and quality control standards to ye naam zyada liya nahi jata hai hum log kya bolte hai 30 standards ye hum log standards on auditing hi bolte hai kyunki major chunk to 38 kiska hai auditing standards so nobody goes into the detail like it's engagement and quality control standard but that's the true reality okay engagement as a ca what are the four types of engagement you can perform audit review assurance engagement other than audit or review that is other assurance engagement and then you have the related services right then you have the related services whatever be the type of engagement you are performing you always have to maintain the quality so for that you have the sqc and then standards on auditing standards on review engagement standards on assurance engagement and the standards on the related services right so you have the 38 standards on auditing two standards on the review engagement three standards on the assurance engagement and two standards on the related services okay clear to everyone right all good okay right and out of this 29 standards on auditing and one standard on the quality control applicable later on i'll also make a list and give it to you ke which chapter you know or which standards we are going to study like if you look at the beginning of each of our chapters so these terms we'll see at the end Like, you know if you look at the beginning of the chapter number 2 example right so which essay is covered in that chapter is mentioned over there like essay 300 planning and audit of financial statements then if i come to chapter number 3 example right then in chapter number 3 what are the standards covered 315 320 330 it's mentioned so har ek chapter mein kaun sa standard covered hai pura list has been given in chapter number 0 of all the 46 standards and then which chapter which standards are covered that series is given in the beginning also and we can also later on make a list regarding the same okay right so so far we have understood the term financial statements tcwg now let us try to understand one more term over there called as the stakeholders right not shareholders i'm talking about the stakeholders do you have you heard this term stakeholders जिसको पढ़ी है है ना हु हैव समथिंग टू डू विथ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे आर हैविंग सम मॉनेटरी नॉन मॉनेटरी इंटरेस्ट इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन यू मेंशन अ फ्यू स्टेक होल्डर्स क्रेडिटर्स क्रेडिटर्स एम्प्लॉयज ओके एम्प्लॉयज के साथ ही लेट मी राइट ट्रेड यूनियंस ओके स्टेक होल्डर्स इन्वेस्टर्स गवर्नमेंट हम्म थर्ड पार्टीज ये सारे ही तो थर्ड पार्टीज है रिलेटेड पार्टीज ओके एनी ऑफ देम कुड बी रिलेटेड पार्टीज बैंकर्स ओके बैंकर्स फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस देन बैंकर्स आई कैन ऑल्सो कॉल देम एज दी फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस और बताओ हम्म मेंबर्स शेयर होल्डर्स वेरी गुड वो तो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है कॉम्पिटिटर्स ओके दे कुड ऑल्सो बी यू नो इंटरेस्टेड इन लुकिंग एट योर नेक्स्ट वॉट यू से स्टेप दैट यूर गोइंग टू टेक बोर ओवर्स या दैट कुड बी बैंकर्स फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन लेंडर्स we could call it as lenders borrowers creditors there so you can also mention about the customers right the customers of the company right even they would be interested in directly or indirectly they are associated with your organization right associated i can also mention about the insurance companies over here right insurance company okay so now you have the political so that's government or so we can consider so now all 
these are the stakeholders who are concerned who are directly or indirectly in some or the other way associated with your organization so now how could they be interested or how could the financial statements be beneficial to them like creditors they will come to know liquidity ke whether if i give the goods to this company on credit whether they will pay to be on the due date or employees bonus ke you know employee they are not giving me an increase but whether you looking at the company's financial performance they will say no no you should give us a increase in our wages okay trade unions again for the settlement of the wages and so investors whether to invest money in this company or not they can read and study the analyze the financial statements and decide see what i am discussing with you ke how could the financial statements of a company be beneficial to these different stakeholders you understand na pehle humne kya discuss kiya ke kon kon alag alag company ke स्टेक होल्डर्स हो सकते हैं वी ट्राई टू मेक अ टेंटेटिव लिस्ट और हम पढ़ रहे के हाउ कुड दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ अ कंपनी बी यूजफुल टू दीज डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स राइट हाउ दे कुड बी यूजफुल टू दीज डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स राइट सो टू दी गवर्नमेंट फॉर लिविंग दी टैक्सेस और फॉर ग्रांटिंग दी सब्सिडीज और फॉर गिविंग दी गवर्नमेंट ग्रांट्स ओके राइट देन टू बैंकर्स फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर इश्यूइंग दी लोन्स फॉर असेसिंग दी credit worthiness of the company right for assessing the credit worthiness shareholders to assess the financial performance of the company that hamari company kaise chal rahi hai kya haal hai company ka shareholders will come to know by studying the financial statements then competitors they come to know the strategies and all regarding the business customers that whether we should continue to do our business with this organization or whether we should shift to some another company right so they come to know the customers right the credit what what you say their loyalty towards the organization insurance company why would they need financial statements can anybody have that creativity of mind or that anal what you say thinking skill risk analysis okay or bolo exactly to settle the insurance claim ke inventory ka insurance cover liya tha fire insurance cover and now fire has occurred and inventory destroyed and now they are claiming the money from the insurance company so now the valuation of the inventory will have to be done that will be done on the basis of the financial statements again again financial statements will also be beneficial to the management wo khud banayenge par wo khud bhi to use karenge na why for the decision making purpose that whether we should get the strategic choices growth strategy expansion strategy have you finished sir no okay right so that is where we talk about right the management for the decision making purposes right for the management for the decision making purposes okay now all these people kitna bada list banaya kitna list hai creditor employee trade union investor government bankers financial institution shareholder competitor customer insurance company management are they just going to rely on the financial statements which management prepared no what did we say what tick hona chahiye hai na it has to be the audited financial statements it has to be the audited financial statements only then all of these people are going to rely on those financial statements that is why what do we say that audit is a now again i will draw and i will draw let me see how i can draw it best you i'll draw then you tell me what does this look like oh my god kya dikh raha hai See my drawing is so. Be careful, draw. Karo, I don't know. What is this looking like? Don't tell me onion tree. <laughs> box, box. Kuch arey ta banana wrapping kiya. Aise kaise bolte ho? Box, gift box, hai na? Hai na? Correct, correct, correct. So not bad, ha? Huh? Okay, right. So audit is a gift. audit is a gift to the shareholders and the investors audit is a gift to the shareholders and the investors so who is the gift the g in the gift the government who is the i in the gift 
दी इन्वेस्टर नीचे लिखा ना शेयर होल्डर्स एंड इन्वेस्टर सो इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एफ इज दी यस वेरी गुड दी फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन दी बैंकर्स दी फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू एटलीस्ट थ्री पेजेस यू रिटर्न इन योर बुक्स ऑफ आर और मोर देन दैट हाँ लिखो थोड़ा लिखते रहो है ना ऐसे बिल्कुल है ना आलस नहीं करना है लिखने का राइट ट्रेड यूनियंस है ना ट्रेड यूनियंस अभी लिख लो नहीं तो अटेम्प्ट लिखने पड़ेंगे तो उससे अच्छा तो अभी लिख लो है ना इंस्टीट्यूट को बोलो जितना लिखवा के लेना है भाई अभी ले लो मतलब वापस का नहीं रखना ओके राइट सो इट्स अ गिफ्ट टू दी शेयर होल्डर्स एंड टू दी इन्वेस्टर्स जी फॉर गवर्नमेंट आई फॉर इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एफ फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूट इंस्टीट्यूशन बैंकर्स टी फॉर ट्रेड यूनियन एम्प्लॉयज एंड इट्स अ गिफ्ट टू shareholders and investors it is a gift to the shareholders and to the investors right so government insurance company financial institutions banker trade union and the employees oh you were drawing also like me only you should draw better no okay right you to didn't draw only anything draw no what is the problem itna to draw kar hi lo na jaise meri halat hai utni to rakh hi lo if not better ड्रॉइंग क्लास नो नो नॉट ड्रॉइंग क्लास ऑडिट क्लास ओके यस इट्स अ गिफ्ट टू दी शेयर होल्डर्स एंड दी इन्वेस्टर्स वाई बिकॉज वी सेट जस्ट इफ मैनेजमेंट प्रिपेयर दी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कैन दी ऑडिटर रिलाय ऑन दैम नो सो और कैन एनी बडी रिलाय ऑन दो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट नो दे हैव टू बी दी audited financial statements so to whom all are these financial statements beneficial to to the government for levying the taxes then to the insurance company to settle the insurance claim financial companies to grant the credit to give the loans and then to the trade unions for doing the settlement of the wages for doing the trade ne wage negotiation and to the shareholders to come to know about the financial performance of the company because ultimately it's the company of the shareholders they are the true owners of the company so they will come to they are not involved in the day to day management of the company so they will come to know about the performance of the company by looking into the financial statements and investors you are a potential shareholder who is an investor he is a potential shareholder so he will decide whether he should invest in the shares of this particular company or not on the basis of the financial statements of the company okay right so if we come to our chapter number 1 and if you come to the first question over there it is regarding the importance of auditing and this is what we have just finished discussing the importance of auditing what you have to remember over there that it is a gift to the shareholders and the investors it is a gift to the shareholders and the investors right so you see the g the government right then the i is the insurance company bank financial institutions is the f trade union is the t and then you have the shareholders and the investors right so little bit obviously we have rearranged but this is how it is given in the study material of the icai and uh, you can't write your general knowledge in an audit paper please listen to me carefully जनरल नॉलेज लिखना नहीं है वॉट इज देर इन दी इंस्टीट्यूट स्टडी मटीरियल द लैंग्वेज द टर्मिनोलॉजी सेम टू सेम दैट हैज टू कम इन योर पेपर इज ए मैम देन वॉट अबाउट माई प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन नथिंग डूइंग यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट वॉट इज देर यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गिवेन एंड देन आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू राइट दिस तो कैसे लिखा है बी इट इन्वेस्टर्स डिजायर ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग या मनी इन कंपनीज शेयर होल्डर्स anxious to know financial position of companies they've invested in bankers or financial institutions willing to lend funds to credit worthy organization government desirous in collecting taxes from trade and industry in accordance with the applicable law trade union negotiating with the corporate management for better wages or insurance companies wanting to settle the 
property claims caused by fire or disasters range of diverse users is equally diverse field rely upon the audited financial statements yes, they rely on the audited financial statements it is due to this fact that audited financial statements oh my god this is such an important word it provides a confidence an assurance to the users of financial statements who make their decisions on the basis of such audited financial statements and confidence assurance to the intended users ke audit ka role kya hai tum bolte ma'am kaise aap bharosa kar rahe ho ki reliance ka revenue 10 lakh crore hai my confidence assurance is coming ke no ca has audited the same and it gives the confidence to the intended users you know the users of financial statements everyone yes we just talked about all those stakeholders wo stakeholders kya hai those are nothing but the users of the financial statements who make their decisions on the basis of such audited financial statements is that clear confidence the assurance to the users and so if i see ai ask the question on importance of auditing this is the answer that you will write and the importance of auditing thoda aage chal ke you know little bit ahead i'll come to the other points but yeah you also have a question regarding the benefits of audit page number 1.4 benefits of audit why audit is needed what are the advantages of audit yes what are the advantages of the audit now one question they put as the importance of auditing gift to shareholder investor can i use that gift over here also because what is importance is benefit advantage also so same that gift to shareholder investors right it's a gift to shareholders and the investors right it's a gift to the shareholders and the investors can i use that point over your yes and then addition to that what does it say audited accounts provide the high quality information right so you know that whatever information is given in the financial statements it is high quality it gives confidence to the users that's what we said now confidence assurance to the users okay ca has checked these numbers that information on which they are relying is qualitative and is the outcome of an exercise carried out by following the auditing standards recognized globally you know auditing standards standards on auditing the 38 standards on auditing which we mentioned about is it becoming easy for you to read what is being given and make sense out of it okay that's a high quality information giving confidence to the users then it says in case of the share company shareholders may or may not be involved in the daily affairs of the company why because they are not running the organization who is running the organization the management on behalf of the shareholders so the financial statements are prepared by the management consisting of the directors shareholders are the owners of the company they do need an independent mechanism so that financial information is qualitative and reliable hence their interest is safeguarded by an audit right so one again you know shareholders they are not participating into the daily operations of the company so they come to know whether the information is qualitative reliable through the audit right then audit acts as a moral check on the employees moral check if you say in marwadi also ke thoda dhak revan chahiye hai na ke thoda hai na aise thoda dar hona chahiye hai na thoda tashan like that type moral check on the employees otherwise what will happen employees they will be like oh nobody is going to check what 200 rupees petrol i will say 400 rupees petrol expense 200 rupees i put in my pocket no they say right now to i put the 200 rupees in my pocket but tomorrow when auditor will come he will check all the supporting then management will come to know then i will get a firing who will do all that headache and so that is why there always has to be a danda and there always has to be that fear that you might be you know the checking might be done and you might be caught and then you will have to pay for the consequences if there is no fear of paying for the consequences then happily you know the people will continue to do the fraud so it's a moral check on the employees you know that employees spend time that is why when they do the fraud they plan it very well no you know they take all steps to hide the error you know to conceal they show as if nothing has been done you see any of those series on this uh, netflix and all of that you know that murder and all that happened and then after that ekdam aise koi wo kisi ko kisi ko maar ke fir wo body kai ocean mein dal dete ya kai usko khod ke kai dalte hai aur aise batate hai jaise kuch nahi kiya hai 
and uh, but then after that later on that investigator or whosoever that cid team they come and then they find out you know okay what exactly has happened over there and so what does it say it's a moral check on the employees from committing the fraud for the fear of it being discovered by the audit so that is you know it's like as i said the most simplest word could be dhak and okay kuch dar hona chahiye and it's a moral check on the employees and okay they will think 10 times you know before committing a fraud and a 10 100 times like you know say there is an uncle who is working in a cadbury warehouse so you have my school days mein padha hoga na charlie and the chocolate factory oh my god that chocolate everything chocolate river is flowing and everything okay my god okay so now this uh, you know you it like that is he has this old grandparents in the house and then he is taken to the chocolate factory for the visit and all oh it's so fans in a fantasy world okay right anyways you know so ab ye uncle hai ye cadbury ke warehouse mein kaam kar raha my god kya kya chocolates aati hai cadbury ka डेरी मिल्क अब डेरी मिल्क का ही रेड वेलवेट ओरियो मूज एंड क्या क्या वराइटी यू नो एंड देन देन देर इज पर्क एंड फाइव स्टार एंड जेम्स कलरफुल जेम्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट है ना बोनविल एंड देन सो रोज टेलमेंट एंड सो मेनी अब यू नो ये अंकल के सेवन चिल्ड्रन आ देर ओके अंकल क्या है वेयर हाउस मैनेजर इन कैडबरी एंड अंकल हैज Seven kids. Every day when uncle is leaving for office, बच्चा जिंग पापा आज मेरे लिए वो बड़ा वाला डेरी मिल्क लेके आना वो बबली सिल्क वाला लेके आना वो क्या अभी चॉकलेट डेरी मिल्क ब्राउनी आया है ना इज इट चॉकलेट इज इट ब्राउनी ओ इट इज बोथ है ना दैट्स वॉट तो बोलते हैं तो अभी फिर पापा ऑफिस जाते हैं वेयर हाउस में फिर उसके बाद ही ईद द टिफिन फिर वहीं पे टिफिन को साफ वाफ कर लिया थोड़ा सुखाने के लिए रख दिया फिर उसके बाद अब जाने का टाइम आ गया तो सारे कबर्ड से सारे बॉक्सेस से चॉकलेट्स निकाल दिए टिफिन में डाल दिए फिर टिफिन पैक कर दिया फिर इन्वेंट्री के रिकॉर्ड वही मेंटेन कर रहे हैं तो इन्वेंट्री के रिकॉर्ड में लिख दिया एब नॉर्मल लॉस इटन बाय रॉडेंट अकाउंट इटन बाय रैट्स अकाउंट इटन बाय राइट सब नॉर्मल लॉस है ना क्वालिटी चेक नॉट पास ऐसा सब लिख के मैनिपुलेट कर दिया एंड देन एवरीथिंग टेकन अवे होम एंड देन द मोमेंट ही को एंटर्स होम इन द इवनिंग सेवन किड्स कम रनिंग आउट एंड देन ही सेज ओच वन ऑफ यू आई गॉट अ चॉकलेट ओवर देर ओके अरे ऐसा कैसे चलेगा ये तो ठीक है चॉकलेट है वो कंपनी में वो कंपनी में डायमंड होते तो ऐसे डायमंड उठा उठा के लेके जाते तो कैसे हाउ विल द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रन आज बीवी ने ये सोलिटेर मंगवाया आज बीवी को ये हार पसंद आया है तो कैसे चलेगा तो यू से मैम अगर ऊपर वाला नहीं देख रहा है तो क्या हुआ सीसीटीवी कैमरा तो देखता है ना You understand? No, there is CCTV camera. That is why when you go to a mall, you see when those employees are entering into the mall, when you are coming out of the mall, when the employees they do the frisking of the employees, they check their bags, and then after that they allow them inside and out. Why? Because there is always a possibility that a fraud could be committed, and they always say, "No, prevention is better than cure." So that is why they always put the controls in place. Because CCTV camera hai, inventory records hai, maker checker concept hai. Itna sab karne ke baad bhi kya log fraud kar sakte hai? Yes. So uske liye at least one more water check is over there that the auditor, when he comes for the audit, that the fraud could be discovered. Then audited financial statements are helpful to the government authorities for determining the tax liability. So that is the G of R. Give then audited financial statements can be relied upon by lenders, bankers for making their credit decision whether to lend or not to lend to a particular entity. Today we said now that managing director he went to the bank and said, "Give me a loan of thousand crore." So the bank, on the basis of the audited financial statements, they can decide whether they should give the loan or no. And then an auditor may also detect. So. Also detect. It's not said will detect. They say also detect fraud or error or both. Why? Because detection of fraud and error is not the primary objective of the audit. And a prevention, detection of the prevention and or detection of the fraud or error or both and or error is. not the primary objective of the audit is not the 
primary that's not your main bread and butter why you do the audit why you do the audit i'll come to that shortly and okay what is the overall objective sa 200 we come to that but chalte chalte audit karte karte kya auditor ko fraud error bhi mil sakta hai yes you know auditor may also detect fraud or error or both that also is very important over there right so now what does and then after that order to reviews the existence and operation of various controls operating in any entity and hence it is useful for pointing out the deficiencies so here pe alag points kya hai controls you check the controls and you come to know the deficiency high quality information which enhances the confidence and then i think the you know helps also helps to detect fraud or error aur ye sare point to apne give to shareholders investors se and okay it is the shareholders then after that employees which i can call it as the trade union point and a trade union types but moral check on the employees for on committing the frauds as it may be discovered then the government authorities financial institutions and then also to detect fraud error and the controls operating and the deficiency right and the controls operating and the deficiency is that clear to everyone right so have we completed two questions over here importance of auditing and the advantages the benefits of audit why it is needed and so that it gives the high quality information the confidence to the intended users then to the shareholders after the shareholders they talk about the employees then the government then the lenders bankers and then high quality information also detect fraud error or both and also check the controls and also point out the deficiencies at pointing out the deficiencies okay right so if you look at this particular book right i certainly told them that it they asked me whether it should be color notes i said it has to be color notes right because this particular book itself you can use it in three styles what are the three styles you can use this particular book as one you study the entire book as it is you know the entire contents of the book as it is second if you only want to look at the question and answers then at the end of each chapter you have the exhaustive list of all the questions related to that particular chapter agar direct chapter ka reference hai to the reference has been given and if it is something additional which is to be written that has been mentioned over here so you say ma'am mujhe mtp rtp suggested ici institute study material ka question dekhna hai to pura matlab abhi tak ka jitna question questions are available all of that has been given and now institute has two types of question test your knowledge and test your understanding so test your understanding is little bit of the practical application based question so even those questions have been given over there to ek to tum puri book padho dusra agar tumhe sirf question question dekhna hai to you look into the theoretical question and the test your understanding part aur teesra tumhe sirf revise karna hai and you know, like you just want to do a quick revision you want to stay in touch with the subject kyunki out you know out of sight out of mind so that is why you want to you know look into the subject again but you have so many subjects to tackle with to itna pura detailed reading karne ka time nahi hai but ek nazar maan di hai subject pe to ye jo bhi red red color mein mark kiya hai if you read that then this book also works like a compact revision for you if you read only the red red color markings or whatever markings you are going to abhi already book colorful hai usko thoda color karte ho dhyan nahi rakhna okay but yeah then this you can use it in that manner so i told you three things that this book can be used in three fashion number one you read the entire book pura question pura or the theory everything second you can only go through the question bank to check how much am i able to you know answer or get the right question answers over there and third if i only want only want to do like a quick revision of the subject then for the quick revision what i can do right i can just go through these red red color markings and i should be sort you know only go through these red red color markings okay right so that is where we completed the importance of auditing and also the benefits of audit why it is needed now we come to the next one the origin of audit so now i start preparing my list for the chapter number 1 so everybody what you have to do leave this page blank so that you know we keep on writing on this particular page right so you start writing then you keep some space blank after it so first what we studied importance of auditing right importance of auditing what did we study it's a gift to the shareholders and the investors then after that we studied the benefits or the advantages of the audit 
right the benefit or the advantages of the audit and again what did we say we can take help of it's a gift to the shareholders and the investors but additional point we say that it gives the high quality information it enhances the confidence of the intended users then we said it is also a moral check on the employees that the fraud may be they have the fear that the fraud may be detected and auditor he also reviews the controls in the company so through by reviewing the controls he will come to know the deficiencies the weaknesses in the internal control so that is my point number 2 and so likewise rest of the page may be one or two page you leave it blank so that the entire summary of the chapter also we prepare hai na to abhi ye do point likhe na aapne iske baad ek ya do page blank chhod do aur jaise hum log koi topic discuss karte fir wapas yahan pe aake uska condensed version likhna hai first chapter it might take time second chapter onwards you will catch the grip you follow no what i say Can you write the summary. Keep on preparing the summary of the chapter also. Okay, then one more thing that okay, you're writing this. Right. So now, say uh, this is your notebook. Okay. Right. Say this is your notebook over here. These are the pages of your notebook, right? So say this is page one, page two, page three. This is your notebook, okay? And then you also have your textbook with you, right? In the textbook, where is the discussion of importance of auditing? One point one. Then the benefits of auditing are there. One point four. Then the benefits of auditing is on page number one point four. Okay, so please see over here, everyone. This is my notebook. This is my textbook. Okay, now in the textbook, where is benefits or uh, importance of auditing given? Page number one point one, and the benefits of audit have been given on page number one point four. Now in your notebook, say regarding this, you have written on page number four. Example, के आपने ये जो इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ऑडिटिंग है इसके बारे में वो जो गिफ्ट ड्रॉ किया है वो कहाँ ड्रॉ किया है ऑन पेज नंबर फोर सो ऑन द पेज नंबर फोर यू विल गिव अ रेफरेंस टू टेक्स्ट बुक वन पॉइंट वन है ना टेक्स्ट बुक पेज वन पॉइंट वन एंड इन द टेक्स्ट बुक यू विल गिव रेफरेंस नोटबुक पेज फोर नोटबुक पेज फोर तो नोटबुक के पेजेस को नंबरिंग करना पड़ेगा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन पूरा एंड तक या फिर चैप्टर वाइज विच एवर और नोटबुक में टेक्स्ट बुक का रेफरेंस देना है और टेक्स्ट बुक में नोटबुक का रेफरेंस देना नोटबुक में टेक्स्ट बुक का रेफरेंस देना है जैसे नोटबुक में यहां मैंने इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ऑडिट लिखा अब इसके रिलेटेड टेक्स्ट बुक में कंटेंट का है टेक्स्ट बुक पेज वन पॉइंट वन और टेक्स्ट बुक में ये कहा है पेज नंबर वन पॉइंट वन इसका नोटबुक में आपने कहा लिखा है आपने जहां पे भी लिखा है वो नोटबुक का पेज नंबर का रेफरेंस दीजिए आई डोंट नो वेदर आई बीन इफेक्टिव टू कम्युनिकेट बट इफ यू नॉट अंडरस्टूड प्लीज आस्क मी है ना कि टेक्स्ट बुक में नोटबुक का रेफरेंस और नोटबुक में टेक्स्ट बुक का रेफरेंस अंडरस्टूड दिया क्या सुनना नहीं सिर्फ लिख देना भी है और ये मैं हम आई विल नॉट कंटिन्यू टू टेल दिस ऑलवेज दिस प्रोटोकॉल यू हैव टू फॉलो फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डिस्कशन कैसा रेफरेंसिंग देना है यू फॉलो एवरी वन टेक्स्ट बुक टू नोटबुक नोटबुक टू टेक्स्ट बुक और दूसरा देखो अब ये चैप्टर है है ना एट द एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर ये इसके क्वेश्चन है ओके okay, अब इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ऑडिटिंग का कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है बट बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑडिटिंग का क्वेश्चन है क्या येस दर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच इज रिगार्डिंग दी बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑडिट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ऑन पेज नंबर वन पॉइंट वन फाइव विच इज रिगार्डिंग दी बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑडिट तो जहां पर भी मेरा बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑडिट लिखा हुआ है जहां पर भी मेरा बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑडिट लिखा है देर आई विल राइट डाउन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन जहां पे मेरा बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑडिट लिखा है वहां आई विल राइट डाउन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन कि इसके रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन क्या आता है कैसे क्वेश्चन का ड्राफ्टिंग होता है मेरे को देखना है तो मुझे पता है कि इसका क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन है 
कोई ऐसा होगा कि लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट जैसे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या है इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट का टॉपिक है उसके अगर तुम क्वेश्चन बैंक में क्वेश्चन देखोगे रिगार्डिंग लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट तो यू नो यू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन है ना ऑल एटीन सो ट्वेल्व टू एटीन तो फिर इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट के हम वहां क्या लिखेंगे क्वेश्चन नंबर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन ऑल रिगार्डिंग दी इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट तो पता रहेगा मतलब इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन के रिलेटेड कैसे क्वेश्चन आए एग्जाम में वट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई नो दीज आर द्वेश्चन आई एम सपोज टू सी आई होप आई एम क्लियर वन थिंग आई टोल्ड यू यू हैव टू मेक अ रेफरेंस फ्रॉम नोटबुक टू टेक्सट बुक टेक्सट बुक टू नोट बुक दैट इज वन यू हैव मैं आई विल नॉट कंटिन्यू टू टेल यू बट यू हैव टू डू दैट एंड सेकेंड वेन एवर वी स्टडी द क्वेश्चन बैंक एंड देन द टॉपिक ना तो वो टॉपिक के अगेंस्ट लिखना है कि इसके रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन बैंक में क्वेश्चन का जैसे इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व टू एटीन विच इज रिगार्डिंग इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन ऑफ ऑडिट एंड लेटर ऑन अभी तो वी स्टडी इन अ वेरी ग्रेजुअल मैनर लेटर ऑन वेन यू हैव टू रिवाइज द एंटायर सब्जेक्ट एंड देन देर इज अ मिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन के हाउ टू रिवाइज द एंटायर सब्जेक्ट वन एंड हाफ डे बिफोर द एग्जाम सो देन दैट टाइम ऑल दिस हेल्प है ना ये जो नोट्स बना के रखे हैं रेफरेंसिंग करके रखा है हाईलाइट करके रखा है सो देन ऑल दिस बिकम्स वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल एट दैट टाइम राइट सो राइट नाउ टाइम फॉर एस टू टेक अ ब्रेक फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ब्रेक एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी कंटिन्यू ओके